Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. We are back on YouTube. <laughs> we are back on YouTube. Is it live? Hopefully it's live. It seems to be working. Yes. Oh, we're also on Trovo. Mm. Oh, YouTube, when was the last fan fiction Trovo. reading? We actually just looked that up. It's on. It was on January 9th, 21, 2021. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. That's like... Yeah, that's, that's exactly three months ago. Oh my god, it was! Wow, it took that long to get 500 <laughs> followers. Heck yeah. Okay, wait, let me flip myself so that I can look at you. Yay. Yay. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love these streams. Well, uh, yeah. I love these streams. Uh, I'm glad you do. <laughs> I'm glad you do. Uh, <laughs> makes one of us. Wait, I'm really tiny in the background here. Let me fix myself. It's because my hair is so disproportionately large Your compared to... Your hair is so poofy. It's poof. Uh, <laughs> return of Defend fix. Yes, it is the return of Defend fix. Um, you were saying that your tummy is kind of hurting, right? Yeah. So, I'll so step away, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, so is mine, but that's not from the same thing. I don't Aww. know. <laughs> Mine's hurting from the fear of, of the experience <laughs> of reading this fan fiction. <laughs> but yes, if you do feel um, icky, then we can. Um, you can. Sure. Take a break, oh, you know. and I can um, continue now, reading yeah. on my own. <laughs> Three months ago seems so long. It does, right? It does feel that long. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's uh, last we read, if I recall, was chapter seven. Huh. And the reason why I know this is because I remember vividly reading Yuffie's part. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I haven't read ahead in <laughs> chapter eight. I don't remember what happens. And because I don't remember what happens, oh. I'm worried that there's something spicy. There's going to be spicy. something. Oh, my God. I hope there's nothing spicy. <laughs> Do you want to give a quick like glance through or um, do you want to just like let be me, surprised um, like, i don't want any surprise <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um i feel like this one wasn't that like i feel like i got kind of boring personally in my mm. opinion after after chapter six uh, um you didn't get ramped up into spicy stuff until later you know, Is I don't even. Stuff? I don't know. I don't know if it was spicy. The, 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 I thought that the shower scene was jar. spicy. That's what I thought was spicy back then. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a recap? Do you remember what happened? Uh, not very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a live reaction for a reason. Uh huh. Live uh-huh. from the author's reaction. Live. Like, yes. Oh God. It's like. It's like when you take watch director's cut of a thing, and you know how they have like director's commentary. Oh, like commentary. It's like yeah. author's commentary on her own stupid, mm. gross writing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, what am I trying? Okay, recap. Uh, from the beginning, um, mm. Tifa owns a bar called Seventh Heaven. In reality, they retcon. Well, I it, I had to like kind of retcon that because. Um, after Advent Children, her bar was actually not in Midgar, it was in Edge, and uh, it was called oh. something else, and it wasn't called Seventh Heaven. Wait, so. then how does that fit with the be- very beginning of Final Fantasy VII? Because uh, she's work- So, <laughs> Advent Children is the sequel to right. Final Fantasy VII. Did she move bars? How far uh, did you uh, get uh, in the uh, game? <laughs> never mind. How far did you get? Oh, okay. I, I, see, I see what you mean. Uh-huh. I see. Uh-huh. I I got to the part where, uh, that that the part where <laughs> Daigo knows. Yeah, 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 that part, that part. Oh, uh, okay, I understand, because this takes place after that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I get uh, it. I okay, get it. this takes it. place after everything, so You're you right. haven't beaten the game, so you don't You're know right. what happens. I I for some reason I thought I was. The game took place before the game. Before, before. It did not take place before the game. There are some parts that I tried to make work that happened before the game in the flashbacks, but it's there's a lot of complications. And, because um, this is like right after Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy right VII is a messy it, game. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> it's before they released all the crazy post stuff for Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, that's right. Uh, hello, Fed Spark. How are you? I hope that you're doing well. Um, we're gonna read my cringy Yuri fan fiction from when I was a Yay. teenager. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Dubstep Daigo notes. Drop the bark. 
Mm-hmm. Drop the fork. <laughs> oh, drop the toy. <laughs> Whatever you're eating, just drop it. <laughs> drop, drop, drop. Um, okay, so what happens in this fan fiction? It takes place after Advent Children. Mm. Um, is supposedly I don't know I should rewrite this thing that's really what should happen because uh, like the Advent Children came oh no Advent Children uh, wait yeah Advent Children came out after I started writing this when did Advent Children uh-huh. come out hang on let me look it up Advent Children release date which means some stuff yeah August thirty first two thousand five so I wrote this in two thousand four oh my God. <laughs> So I was like, ah, oh, damn it, now they messed up all my shit. Uh, yeah. They were not considerate to your timeline. I know, exactly. So then in order to make it work, I had to like fit everything back in, you know? They should have consulted with you before they did that. They should have. It's clearly <laughs> very important. Um, oh, I should put this as a live. I should tell uh, Twitter, or not Twitter, Twitch, or not Twitch, fuck. Uh, Discord <laughs> that I'm live now. The other one, yeah. yeah. All the things. Okay, wait. Discord, Discord. Uh, at Discordal. every Discord. Everyone, uh, feline. Um, Yuri fan fiction. Uh. <laughs> How do you say Discord in Japanese? Dis- Discord. 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 <laughs> uh, wait. That, what's the actual YouTube link here? There you go. Ugh. Why doesn't it let me do it when it's HTTPS? HTTPS. Oh, this is all Capcom. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tinium, I can't believe they retconned my fat. I know exactly. So rude. <laughs> they should have. Uh, they should have consulted with all the fanfic writers mm. first. Make mm-hmm. sure they didn't break their canon. Exactly. Forgot it was YouTube today. I just sat there refreshing Twitch for a bit. Oh, I'm so flattered that you were refreshing Twitch. I should go and like put uh, something on my YouTube that just says, hey, or on my Twitch that just says, hey, go check out YouTube. <laughs> I'm sleeping. Oh, like instead of the thing that has like the, the offline, offline banner, just yeah. put like live on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, but then I'd forget to bring it down. Gotcha. I know I would. I would definitely forget to take it off. I'm, I'm sleepy. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay awake. The reading may just lull me to sleep. Maybe. You Perfect. can you can go to sleep to the sweet, sweet sounds of me getting hurt in my feelings. Oh, <laughs> Ow, my feelings. feelings. Ow, my chest. No. <laughs> also, please avoid stating some things not so say so in the chat because there's a probability that the story may take it, be taken down because Susan. Susan? Who's Susan? <laughs> Susan. <laughs> I, I don't think being unsafe so in chat well it would appear on the stream mm, true. but chat alone I don't think can take down a whole stream yeah 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 uh, I can't believe there were common fanfic yo yo what's up Jasonic X hello, uh, hello. it's like when George Lucas retconned all the expanded universe novels <laughs> it's true yeah now they're all not canon <laughs> yeah I should also face this trolling because I kind of want to see what uh, I kind of want to see what this is all about Want here. people to come on the Trovo? I see, don't see people come to Trovo. Fair. Trovo. Although, <laughs> Trovo has, like, uh, things you can do, like, cheering or something, casting spells, as mm, they call it. Yeah. Which means you'd have to pay attention to your Trovo, like, activity feed or something. Yeah. So that if someone does it, they don't feel ignored. Susan YouTube <laughs> is always watching. Susan McCarran. <laughs> Um, so, Trovo's, repeat that one more time? They so, were... people can basically cheer on Trovo. Yeah. And you want to make sure you catch those cheers when people do it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know if Trovo has, like, an activity feed or something you can look at where people, oh, people do that. Oh, you're so right. You can, hmm. So, you're able to respond when people cheer. How do I do that? Uh, I don't know. Is there something activity equivalent? feed? Is there a creator dashboard? There is a creator studio. Yeah, it's the same of thing. course, it's the exact same <laughs> thing. Uh, chat options. Stream manager. Is there something like that? Stre- chat options. I don't know. Uh, I would think there's a way. Activity. Activity. Where do you see that? Very bottom. But this one. No, no records found. So maybe it would show up here if something Possibly. happened. I don't know how Trovo works. That's probably something to research. Like yeah, off stream, off stream. probably. Um, yeah. So anyway, say ah ah ah. No ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Hi. What's up? Underscore underscore. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're here. Okay. So basically, um, let's do the recap of the whole fan fiction up to this point. Yeah. Sure. Okay. 
Um, chapter one, bar tabs. Um, the uh, Turks are uh, go to Tifa's bar to have drinks, and they owe her a lot of money mm-hmm. because they've gone without paying for a very long time. Mm-hmm. I, at the time, I thought drinks were just like beer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, here, get me a I beer, have, you. Oh, <laughs> I have six beer. Yeah, six <laughs> beer drink. <laughs> Trovo sounds like a trippy Russian made flash game. Ah, uh, well, I mean, Trovo. <laughs> does. Welcome to Trovo. <laughs> Susan's bots are always watching. You came for the clam chowder. Nice. Yay. I'm glad. I like clam chowder. Uh, chapter two, I think, is. What happened in chapter two? Oh, they uh, start working at the bar, um, mm. and they like they have uh, Tifa and Elena start to have weird feelings and like weird flashbacks oh, and headaches and like, stuff like uh, that. Like we had a weird feeling. Weird feelings, <laughs> mysterious, questionable mm. feelings. Mm-hmm. Um, and the feelings were actually because they were um, so they they like experience headaches basically and like weird. Flesh things on the last episode of your Missouri fan fiction yes uh, chapter three was um, they have more weird feelings and uh, mm. Elena goes over to Tifa's place early because she wanted to she was ah, confused by things. the weird feelings oh, oh yeah there's also a sandwich <laughs> and I'll, wait this is chapter two there's also a sandwich and somebody cut their finger yeah right oh, yeah, yeah, then, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. About, like, something about a band-aid <laughs> <laughs> bandages um and then chapter four is the flashback. Uh, basically, what happens is uh, I think Tifa passes out or Elena passes out. I can't remember oh. which one. One of them passes out, and then they have this whole big flashback really long thing. Flashback oh, about. it was definitely Tifa because she wakes up and she's like, "Oh, hey, do you have a scar on your tummy?" And then Elena's <laughs> all like, "Wait, how do you know what? about that? I got that when I was younger." And then she's like, uh-huh. oh, "You didn't get it that way. You got it from fighting this soldier prototype what? thing, da, da, da. Uh, robots." <laughs> New power couple to Faina. <laughs> Elefa? El Tifa. Tifa. Tifa Lena? Tifa. Tifa Lena? Tifa. Tifa Ella? Tifa Lena? Tifa Ella? No, no, it's not Ella. Tifa Ella Lala. I do hate it when I have weird feelings. Yeah. Don't you just hate it when weird feelings happen? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so they, <laughs> there, she goes through all the flashbacks. Chapter five is when I think that. Um, the kids, uh, so Denzel and Marlene are living with Tifa, and then they get uh, kidnapped. Yeah, um, and that happens after Advent Children came out. So I had to write Chapter Five with all of what Chapter Four didn't have because I didn't <laughs> know that Chapter Five was gonna mess up everything. Advent oh, Children was gonna mess up everything. Wait, did you rewrite? You rewrite it after Advent Children came out, or no? I didn't. Um, well, I didn't. I, I edited some parts. I did like some, I don't know, 2007 update or something. Minus, yeah, my, you know. minor uh, edits. <laughs> Author's note, 2007. Yes, that's Author's what I remember. <laughs> it's like March 7, 2007. I rewrote right. this because I, yeah, and I was like, oh God. If I was cringing reading back then, oh my God, I'm cringing so hard reading back <laughs> now. Uh, what chapter had recommended music choices? That was chapters right. five and six. Five and six had recommended music. Yeah. Um what else? Uh okay, so chapter six, um, they escape from Midgar, which is actually Edge. Um, they had to fight the Behemoth X Five. Oh yeah, and there's a cool fight scene. And there's a cool fight scene. Um they had all the like memories of them being in Soldier. By the way, they were in Soldier before, that's why the the fan fiction's called X Soldier Tifa. Right. <laughs> yes. And then um <clears throat> what else happened? Uh something blew up. Oh yeah, so they had to fight a Soldier X five, which mm-hmm. is actually a person. They thought um, it was a robot. They thought it was a robot. So they like decapitated it and then like and then it was, it was a a, oh, it's a person. Yeah. And then they're like, Oh my god, is this what you did with the like failed uh, experiments or something like that? And then mm-hmm. they were like the the evil voice inside of the behemoth was like, oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. that was a disposable person, basically. Um, so they escaped from Megar, whatever edge, whatever I don't give a shit. Wherever they are, <laughs> wherever they are, <laughs> and then um, Tifa's all like. Oh, oh, so the way they escape, because mm-hmm. they were about to get overrun, is a big airship flies in and saves them. And yeah. the airship that flies in has Jesse, 
<gasps> who, if you've played the game, you know, um, <laughs> supposedly dies in... Uh, she wasn't so lucky. She wasn't so lucky uh, when the plate fell. So she, she uh, fell also when the plate fell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was horrifying. Fantastic writing concepts. <laughs> 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 um, Susan Sugar. I like it. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, what else? Uh, Jesse uh, is the one who's flying the airship. Uh huh. Um, so she's kind of like the Sid in this game. Oh, no, well, not really. Sid is the Sid in this game. But, um, <laughs> and, <fan> fic. <laughs> and now she's flying around, and, and then she he- met Elena for the first time, right? Yes. Uh, Jesse met Elena for the first time. Mm. Um, and then Yuffie in chapter seven, which is the most recent chapter that we read. Uh, hi, Yim, how are you? What's up, Emperor? Oh, I'm glad to see you. Oh, Joel Sama Lab. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Yuffie has a scene where she's stealing some materia or something from some guy. And oh, then right. she, like, laughs at these dudes. And then she gets caught and thrown into jail and <laughs> right. calm. Mm-hmm. I'll give this one a read for sure. Oh, God. Ah, it's so hard. Yes. It hurts my soul. <laughs> Watch all the vods uh, where oh, we yeah. go back and read it. Oh, my God. So it's so much up. funnier when I'm <laughs> watching myself cringing at my own writing. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are going to say? Uh, yeah. She was escaping. She gets caught. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and then uh, Tifa bails her out of jail. Um, and Yuffie says things like, don't you have, like, money in those tits of yours? <laughs> and she's like, ha, 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 you shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then uh, J- uh, Yuffie meets Jesse for the first time because she appears after Midgar. Ah. Um, author's notes are the best. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I think that's where we left off. So Pretty much. They all like, met each other? Yeah, so now there's four of them on the airship. Ah. Yeah, big, and they have their little plan to go and save Marlene and Denzel from the tur- from Shinra. Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, that's where we are now. And that's where we are now. Let's swap it over <laughs> to the screen, which has the thing. Yay. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Am I ready for this? I don't think I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Can you even see? Oh, you can't. Uh... Wait, that's not right. That's not the right thing. Undo. Oh, there's no undo. No, there's no uh, Wait, and these things are from uh, these things are from Twitch. Let's just hide oh, that. Oh, I there. guess you don't have them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> this. This is what I want to open up. Mm-hmm. Here. Okay. And why is it cut off there? Oh. Because it's been cut down. Yeah. Like that? Yeah? I think that's fine. Yeah. yeah. There. Okay. Alright. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Authors now! Oh. Okay. I love the horror of you mean all these enemies we've been cutting down with no remorse are actually we're are actually will unwilling people? They are, yes. Wow. They were. That's like the best trope though. So the thing is that the soldier program in the evolved soldier program of this part uh, mm-hmm. uh, had volunteers. And so People, they, they took people off the streets. They mm. took people, like, basically said, hey, if you want to, if, you, if you're if you basically done with your life, <laughs> uh-huh. then um, you you can, we can just make you a, an amazing soldier. And so that they were, Shinra was, like, really bad about it. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is that part of the game or is that part of your... Uh, no, part of the fanfiction. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, part of the game, I would say, is... More that it was a, a point of pride for a lot of people mm. to join Soldier because they oh, wanted to fight in the war. But after the war was done, there was no reason to fight in the war. Uh, so, <laughs> so they had to take people from the streets because nobody would volunteer. Right. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, so, red lines. Yes, look at these red lines. Uh, XD. <laughs> XD. Sold Tifa is not in the, the dictionary. Wait, can I add Tifa to the dictionary? You can add, add the Tifa dictionary. To the dictionary. Centric? Well, hmm. I guess centric is not a standalone D- word. Usually XD like- is definitely a word. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Can't wait for things to get autocorrected. <laughs> <laughs> You're like trying to write like advertisement, like ad, and yeah, it turns into XD. XD. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go. No problem. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. So the plan for today is to read maybe one chapter. Uh, we'll try to read takes. one chapter, um, and we'll see how long that takes. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't, if we, I don't, this one has 4,129 words. 
Oh. Um, um, which is a fairly short one compared to the other ones, but let me open up. I mean, it depends on how, how quickly we go. Yeah. But I remember when we did Yuri Fridays, or when we did vi Yuri visual novels. Yeah, yeah. We would do, what was it, like 10,000 words a night, I think? Is that what it was? So this might take us a couple hours. Ah. We'll see. Why can't we'll I open on. this one in, I can't open chapter nine with, like, usually lets me choose which one to open it with. Um. There's an, oh, there's no open to... with option. Oh, you're right. Um. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> what if I just double click it? Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. And you want to use... I want to use LibreOffice. Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay. So, oh, the chapter nine has music recommendations. Ooh, <laughs> that's good stuff. Okay. Well, let's start reading this because, <laughs> Jesus. Because... Okay. Uh, Centric is a word and spelled correctly. Right? Dang it. I don't understand. LibreOffice. No wonder you're Hard. free. <laughs> tis, tis. I've never been here for one of Yuma's fanfics. This is going to be as amazing as I hope it is. I hope you find it amazing. I hope my pain is entertaining. All right, let's go. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Author's note. Ooh. Well, after a long and mind-racking break... Racking, racking? Racking isn't a typo, and centric is a typo. All right. Mm. I've come to chapter eight of Ex Soldier Tifa, though I think it should be called Ex Soldier Tifa and Elena, but that just sounds icky. icky. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I need that irony in there. What irony? Oh, irony. I don't even know what that <laughs> means in this context. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> Ugh. Okay. It's okay. ironic how Elena's not in the title. No, why did I what? think that was ironic? I think I used that word completely wrong there. Okay, so this chapter, it's very Tifa Elena centric, so I apologize. Every chapter. No, the previous chapter was Tufi centric, all right? That's true. Yeah, and mm. one of the chapters was Denzel Marlene centric, right? <laughs> and then one of the other chapters was just Tifa, <laughs> was Turk centric. Yeah, but then that chapter with the flashback was pretty yeah. much both of them. <laughs> Libre office sometimes says, yeah, don't you all remember? Wreck it, Rack it, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were streaming on Twitch, so I was wondering, where's the stream? Oh, yeah, no. So um, these ones are celebrations for YouTube. So I I stream these on YouTube. So naturally, they're on YouTube. What was past me thinking? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could meet my teenage self, so I could just slap her. <laughs> for... <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Irony in the wrong place. Yeah, uh, we did a recap of the previous um, of the previous streams, I Chapters, guess. Yeah. Matcha. Yeah, yeah, and so now we're at the actual reading. We're basically reading the author's note now. Okay, so this uh, this chapter is very Tifa Elena centric. So I apologize if anyone was looking forward to any more Turks, Yuffie, and or Jesse development that might come in the next chapter. Uh, I also think I start to repeat myself or get carried away in some parts, uh -huh. dot, period, period. <laughs> so just bear with my desperate need to express everything I feel needs expressing in that section. What the <laughs> heck is that sentence? <laughs> also note that I may be revising some earlier chapters, like chapter one. I was reading it over recently and I felt as if I was, period, period. I don't know. Not very appealing to a reader as a first chapter, period. I might just make it a prologue, XD. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can hear your younger personality coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Explaining way too much, like my too much of my thought process. Uh -huh. This is my personal blog on <laughs> <laughs> It is! It totally was. Okay, well, that was a weird author's note. Disclaimer, Font Fantasy 7 isn't mine. Lesbians in the story, watch where you step or dog crap might get on your shoe. I don't have a dog, though. I do now! You do now! Oh, I do now! <laughs> XD. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello, Sarah Fitz. Hello, Senor Co... 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 How do you pronounce that? Joaquin. 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 Yeah. Joaquin. Um, hey, so uh, didn't YouTube do auto captions? Did they remove that? Did, wait, uh, do they? I don't know if they do that to, for live streams. Mm. I think they do it for um, pre recorded Most regular stuff. videos? I think so. Okay, so um, let me just see this. Just really quick, <laughs> real quick. Let me just, just scroll like through it. Uh, there's definitely Elena parts in here, so I just, uh, you'll have stuff to read. I guess we'll just like kind of glance at the, at the paragraph sure. and see if um, there's anything that 
you should start reading instead of me. Okay, okay. got it. Oh, yeah, we were trying to separate it by uh, paragraphs. Uh, yeah, by, by person, right? It's an Elena paragraph or a Tifa paragraph. Hello, we got a verify creator. What's up? I have members now. You could be a member. Whoa. Of, you could be a silver serval, <laughs> <laughs> which is cheaper than a platinum puma. <laughs> but, oh, did the emotes get? <clears throat> they did. Oh. Yeah. So you can get emotes on your on, stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Whoa. Let me see this. Custom emojis. <laughs> Let's put the ones yeah, that are like. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I also put hype and uh, finger guns. I don't know if oh, you can see man. that. That's can awesome. You, you can. I can see it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's just a little bit late. Ah, I see. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, let's read the okay. stupid thing. <clears throat> let's get into it. Tifa stepped into the dark cabin, the door hissing behind her. To her, it felt like this night would never end. Morning seemed so far away, but she knew it was fast approaching. Uh. All she had to do was get some rest, and it would be daylight. And yet, starting in the sentence with and, and yet here she was, still wide awake and on her feet. She knew that sleep would be the best option. Like, mm. I've said this <laughs> seven times in the past four sentences. You <laughs> but it's like, express everything that needs expression. It's, it's nighttime. I should sleep. <laughs> By the way, morning is very far away. By the but way, it's, but it's, it's fast <laughs> If I just slept, then it would be daytime. But here I was, still awake. <laughs> but I should sleep. But I, I knew, I know sleep is the best option. That way, she wouldn't be too tired during the day. Because she should sleep. Because she'd have clearer, more rational mind for planning and decision making. Yeah, thank you for explaining what sleep does. <laughs> easier to count the reasons she should get to sleep. <laughs> Me as a human being now that I've been explained the function of sleep. <laughs> I totally understand how what Tifa's feeling right at this moment. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, Therapix, welcome to the Silver Serval. Yay. <laughs> Yay. You get the emojis. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Your name appears at the top of chat. I'm sure we buy, uh, yes, it like, see, the top Ooh, says member. Oh, it does say member. Yeah. Wow. And if you do a super chat, it also appears there. Uh, I'm sure we actually addressed this before. Oh, super chats do too. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we've actually addressed this before, but you can start a sentence at the end. Yes, you can. Um, if it is a part of a continued full sentence. <laughs> like, right. what I mean by that is, like, you can start an, a sentence with however, but then you have to finish the thought, like, in mm -hmm. the second part. This is a continuation of the previous sentence. Well, this is a fragmented <laughs> sentence. Well, you could do, here she was, still wide awake and on her feet. That's a full sentence, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's but the, the, the Yeah, and yet it shouldn't, ha shouldn't be there. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be there. Yeah. yeah. I was waiting for the stream to turn on the sweat. Yeah, I know, most people were. <laughs> 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 Yay, my lol emote. <laughs> <laughs> I, whenever I see hey. that emote, I'm like, hey. <laughs> Um, oh, the really cool thing about emotes on YouTube is that every member gets them. Yeah, like, regardless of of your of your member yeah. like price. There I aren't guess. like tiers like yeah. in Twitch. Uh, there isn't like a tier two or tier three emote. You get all the emotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember what uh, little Yuma tried her best. I know. I I would defend <laughs> little Yuma it's too. Okay. Oh, the night is long, morning far. Good rest, good. Have day later. <laughs> Awake now, feet on, sleep have best did. Good not tear, tired day later day. <clears throat> Bro, Senor has 105k subscribers. Nice, good job, congratulations. And here I was, Pain. I forgot to read. Pain oh, Peco. Pain Peco. <laughs> uh, it was easier to count the reasons she should get to sleep. Trying to force herself to fall asleep was another matter entirely. Okay, so we got that it's hard to sleep. It's it's hard to sleep, and also sleep is a good thing. <laughs> sleep, sleep is for planning and decision making. Sleep is good for your brain functions. <laughs> <clears throat> Although it was difficult in the dark, Tifa managed to make her way over to one of the beds without injuring herself. It's good. Mm -hmm. To be stealthy and silent were some of the minimum requirements for soldier, so it just came naturally to Tifa now. Still, at times, stealth wouldn't be enough against an opponent with sensitive hearing or sharp eyes. It seemed, though, that the only person Tifa could, ever, could never sneak past was Elena. She would try to surprise the blonde when she was asleep back when they were, in, they were soldiers, 
But Elena would always wake up and stalemate it somehow. <clears throat> right. She's always been a light sleeper. Really light sleeper, hasn't she? Tifa remembered with a small smile on her face. Even though, even through the dark, she glanced in the direction of the blonde's bed. She probably woke up when the door opened. I think you can read this part. As if on cue, the rustling of sheets could be heard from the other bed, indicating the blonde was shifting herself. A soft sigh could be heard, but the figure soon relaxed again. Hmm. Tifa examined the figure on the other bed for a moment, a smirk appearing on her lips. Quit pretending to, be, to sleep, you little liar. Ah, uh, so cute. Yeah. <laughs> a soft hmm could be heard from the blonde, but she kept her back turned towards Tifa. She saw the whole scene at the door with Yuffie. How dare that annoying little ninja suddenly call and jump into their mission. <laughs> From what she remembered, Yuffie was thieving, conniving, rude, hot-tempered, and impulsive. Of course, she didn't know she didn't know that the how should I uh Wu Of course she didn't know Wu Taiyan, yeah. Oh, okay. Of course she didn't know the Wu Taiyan. I think I could change that to Wu Tanese. Wu Tanese. <laughs> Wu Tai Yin? I don't know. I, I think Wu Tai Wu Tai I think Wu Tai Yin. Wu Tai Yin? Mm hmm. Or like, uh, you know, like in Thai, but like Wu Tai. No, Wu Tai Yin. I think Wu Tai I think Wu Tai Yin. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Of course, she didn't know that the Wu Tai Yin, she didn't know the Wu Tai Yin as well as the members of Avalanche, but Elena did know that she was going to intrude on this mission. Also, oh, and, and, she, <laughs> and start a paragraph for that, <laughs> of all things. <clears throat> and she also felt irritated by those goodnight words she said to Tifa. And the fact that Tifa <laughs> actually went to pick up the spoiled brat. Elena shifted her body, Elena shifted her body in the guest bed uncomfortably. She was not jealous. Live edits. <laughs> I'm not gonna save it. I like keeping the original intact and telling me that the last time I worked on it was in 2006. <laughs> <laughs> Young Yuma, way back in the day. Wu Yang. Um. Okay, wait. Let me go up and read a little bit. Imagine having blunt eyes. <laughs> wait, did I say blunt eyes? Uh, blunt eyes. The sense of hearing or sharp eyes. Oh, <laughs> I say blunt eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Votation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you work on those wo shoulder votations. <laughs> oh, we're beta reading the fic live now? No, it's not beta uh, reading. It's just, we're. This is closed beta. This is closed, closed now, <laughs> yeah. Dim red highlights from when I remember Microsoft Word detects unfamiliar words with a wavy underline. That's right. Yep. Tang, Wu Tang. Ah. Wu Tai <laughs> Pino. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I like that. Okay, she was not uh, jealous. She go was ahead. not jealous. I forgot what voice I gave Elena, so I'll just go with Just voice. your normal voice, yeah. I think. Okay. What would she be jealous of? Yuffie Kisaragi? Hardly. Just because she was able to travel with Tifa during Meteor, and Elena hadn't even known of her feelings until a couple of days ago. Just because of the way Yuffie thanked her and touched her arm, <laughs> how Tifa responded with that warm smile. Elena had tensed up insecure anger boiling up inside her so maybe she was a little jealous elena wanted tifa to look at her that way oh God. <laughs> every time i hear a word tm i cringe word what what do you mean word <laughs> yeah i kept reading shifted and got getting confused because that has extra meaning around here shifted, shifted. Shifted in what does that mean where you what were is it, what from? does shifted mean yeah where? yeah does it mean you like go from one foot to another uncomfortably. <laughs> <laughs> Yuma's eyes are in fact very straightforward. What if I do this? Is this looking straightforward? What's the difference between sharp eyes and blunt eyes? <laughs> sharp eyes are like, hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Mm. I see. And then blunt mm. eyes are like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> blunt eyes are just closed eyes. Closed <laughs> eyes are blunt eyes. Mm -mm. Mm. Word TM. Oh, I, I don't know which word TM mm. you're talking about. But I, I cringe every yo. time I see this two period I ellipses oh here. <laughs> okay. Um, this one is yeah. me. I okay. You. There was more movement in the room again. <laughs> this time, the rustling came from Tifa's end of the room. However, they weren't sheets that were in motion. They were clothes. 
Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> forward a little bit. Um, um, I, I think it's okay. Um, um, okay, I think it's, it's already, fine. I think it's fine. I think it's okay. It's already on stream. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> they were clothes. Of course they were. Course, yeah. um, since she had to go down, wait, go down and pick up Yuffie, that meant she had to change back into her usual attire. Tifa wanted to wear something a little more comfortable when she went to bed, so she was glad the lights were off because she could simply take off her black vest and dark shorts, because that's what she was wearing in Advent Children. <laughs> uh-huh. <clears throat> blunt eyes are when you partake in the devil's lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hit those blunt eyes. <laughs> you know, if you do the straight eye, you can do the swag face. That was a thing on TikTok. Straight eye? I don't know what swag face I don't know what is. swag face is. You and Itori ASMR would be cool. Hmm. I mean, hmm. is that that's like whispering? So <laughs> you hear rustling in the sheets, but they're not sheets. You <laughs> <laughs> are reading this ASMR. <laughs> You're rustling in the sheets, but they weren't sheets, they were clothes. <laughs> I mean, I think this mic could handle some ASMR. I don't know. Mm. I think it's sensitive enough that it could pick up on it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's not one of those like or what are those, what are they called those special microphones special 360 degree ASMR microphone yeah exactly like um, okay <clears throat> she knew she had a previous she previously had a relationship with Elena um, but it had still been a long time wait a long while since she actually undressed in front of the woman sure that meant she yeah. was still a little shy and self conscious about her own body it had been a while since she had done any fighting so she might have put on a little bit of weight. That would make any girl feel a little self-conscious. True. True. Mm-hmm. It was strange. Just a little while ago, Tifa and Elena were practically strangers. Tifa, Elena was merely a Turk, and Tifa was merely a bartender and ex-Avalanche member. Neither would have guessed that they had shared a hidden past with each other. And even though they had the memories of Soldier, they also had the memories of Meteor. Things were definitely different now that she compared the two. You just have to work on your stealth, Tifa. Elena finally responded. A little smirk now present on her face. How entertaining. A silent moment, and then a little more rustling could be heard from Tifa's side, this time from the sheets of her bed. Uh, it wasn't nearly enough to indicate she had actually slipped into bed, so Elena just assumed she just laid down without putting on the covers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I think this is you. Um, okay. The blonde had a lot on her mind to contemplate while she waited for Tifa to pick up Yuffie. Sometimes... It was exactly what she would need to sort out her troubles. A few moments alone, lying in her bed. She'd stare into nothingness just to clear her mind of uncertainties. So to have those rare moments disturbed, and by a certain annoying ninja (laughs) accompanying Tifa to their room, no less. So to have those... Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It caused a small flame of jealousy to ignite in Elena's stomach again. As she had felt earlier, and she grit her teeth discreetly, when she had listened to their conversation. Still, Elena could sense, no. Elena just knew that Tifa didn't have any feelings for the ninja. It wasn't just her gut feeling or a sense of denial and stubborn pride within her. She knew for sure. Elena just had to remind herself of the fact that so her worries would be unmodged. Tifa doesn't like Yuffie, she repeated in her mind. That's, that could have been the entire paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> Because it could have, it could have just been that. That could have been the entire paragraph. Oh God, yeah, this is too. <laughs> that was so wordy. You just have to get out what's what's on your mind. I do. I like. It's like I was thinking while I was writing my thoughts. You know, it's, it's a first draft, a stream of consciousness. <laughs> it is stream of consciousness. It is first draft, legit. But then I like the problem is I've read this so many times and like every time I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this is my best work. Still, that didn't stop her from feeling a little uneasy. Uh, I'll read this part. Sure. The two former lovers currently lay in their respective separate beds for another long, dragging moment. Neither really knew what to say, though they knew they want... What? (laughs) Though they knew... (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Neither really knew what... 
what to say, though they knew they wanted to say so much that was on their minds. <laughs> Have you ever just wanted to say? <laughs> But then you, you say so much, and then you just go and so you much on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> this needs an anime adaptation. <laughs> oh, I want. Oh my god, I would pay someone to make a make this into a manga. Oh, oh cool. that would be so awesome. <laughs> oh, but then I would want them to just like make Tifa look like me and make Elena look like you. <laughs> Yeah, that would be so good. It'd just be our own original manga. Yeah, do you, okay, if anyone knows somebody who does manga commissions for like fairly cheap and is willing to do this silly fan fiction, oh, let me know. But I, you know what I'd love to do is like a manga with you and me. Yeah. And like I don't know, just something. Just about an it. actual yeah. manga. Just yeah. No, I manga. I hard agree with that too. I would want both. I would love that. <laughs> I do find that most young writers just take ages to say things. Yes, this was me being a very young writer. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, where, where was I? Uh, minds. Neither even knew what to think, really. Why do I even... What, really? Neither. Really? <laughs> <laughs> even though they subconsciously thought about everything that had happened anyway. <laughs> You <laughs> literally almost trying to say words are hard. <laughs> they are hard. Yeah. Oh god, I think I'm so much better now. But I also mm. haven't written anything in that. I'd be like, I'd like to see you write something. Oh, now? now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'd be down. Yeah. And through the past few hours, even though they had so much time together, at, can I take this? Oh, time yeah. together. Where was <laughs> it? Wait, shoot. Together. For the page break. Uh. <laughs> You didn't need what to think, really. You know, they had so much time thought. And through the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Together. And the opportunities to speak about this still confusing issue, they still haven't addressed it seriously. Why <laughs> 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 is so awkward? <laughs> it's awkward because of it's, how it's written. <laughs> it's as awkward as the actual, it's, it's giving you the feeling of the yeah, situation. It's, in, yeah, it's in, definitely in. evoking a certain <laughs> feeling. <laughs> Uh-huh. Just putting you in the shoes of it's the like character. It's like you don't know what to say. Diva and Elena didn't know what to say to each other. <laughs> and like the writing is reflecting how much you don't know there what to you say. Go. <laughs> I would love to see the manga panels of the text. Neither really know what to say. Though they knew they wanted to say so much. That was all <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> We probably will only get through one chapter, to be honest. Okay. This is great. I'm having fun. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what had taken place that night, what had been happening in their minds through the past few days, it all came so quickly that they couldn't even really stop to smell the roses. They didn't have time to stop and smell the roses. Hell, they didn't even have time to pack anything. They both knew the other was awake. They both wanted to say something. But what would they say? So... So we picked up a new recruit. When it came to icebreakers, Tifa was the master. Mm. That's that's not, that's not. (laughs) She wanted to lighten this thick mood, even if it was just temporarily. Yuffie Kisaragi. You probably remember her from that little incident in Wutai. You haven't, you don't know what that is. I don't remember that. Yeah, you don't remember that. (laughs) Elena would. There was a clear, it was clear there was a grin on Tifa's lips, even if Elena's back was turned to her. Ugh. This is a bit of a spoiler for you, but whatever. You ah, won't okay. remember. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I just might mispronounce some of the names. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, Elena grimaced at the memory of Don Corneo and his lackeys hanging her and Yuffie off the Da Chao Mountains. Fat old pervert kidnapped a young woman for his own sick pleasure. Jeez, how creepy can we get? Thank goodness Rude and Reno were there. Oh, and Avalanche, of course. But even though she recalled that event so clearly, that it would still give her nightmares sometimes. She still didn't know Yuffie too well. She only knew the fact that she was an unbearably annoying. I feel like I wrote Elena so much better than I wrote Tifa. Tifa's <laughs> this like mess Tifa's of just, like going back and forth. And Elena's like, yeah, I remember Tifa's her. just like, eh, and Yuffie's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, uh, we need to pool our resources and get a super high quality Tori manga made. I mean, I'm 100%. so down. Oh 100%. my gosh. Yeah. I would do like a marathon stream just to have that funded <laughs> i would too yeah that would be amazing it would be so cool my stomach hurts from laughing so hard <laughs> yay i'm glad that you're enjoying this this is only a, a but a snippet of her true writing oh power oh the minecraft confession that's true Ah, oh, that was really good. Yeah, I mean, we we read my poetry from when I was also in high school, but the poetry was the a really lot good. more thoughtful than these. <laughs> apparently, oh gosh. Okay, uh, unbearably annoying. <clears throat> I think she'd be an asset to our mission. Tifa rolled onto her side so she could face Elena, whose back was still turned to her, and she continued to smile to herself. The fighter could sense the venom in Elena's voice, and she could see how tensed up through, how she tensed up through her silhouette. Could it be that she was jealous? Aww, how cute! She could infiltrate the security systems and disable the alarms before we go into attack. Another small... Hmm. Could be heard from Elena's side of the room. But she didn't say anything other than that. Hmm. That confirmed it for Tifa. Elena was jealous. Oh she God. hopped off her bed and sat on the edge of Elena's laughing a little. The sudden addition of weight caused Elena to bounce a little, though she tried to remain nonchalant. I guess that's like a swap in between the mid-sentence, but sure. <laughs> and uh -huh. Tifa leaned over so she could see the blonde's face, that smug grin still on her face. Uh-huh. Are you jealous? <laughs> what else is on your face? Can I see your face? <laughs> Tifa, asked, Tifa asked with her face facing <laughs> Elena's face. <laughs> She knew the other woman wouldn't, wouldn't be able to face it. <laughs> she knew the other woman would deny it, but she wanted to tease her about it anyways. <laughs> anyways. Uh, she wanted to tease her, but she was unfaced. <laughs> Take a shot every time Tifa smiles on Chris in this chapter. <laughs> I was like, oh god, I need more more pronouns or more, more ways, more to alternate titles. Yeah, because it's just a little, 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 yeah. little. Because it's already a little here. There's one here. There's one here. There's one here. There's oh, wait, you can't can't see my mouse, can you? But there's so here, many. Here, yeah. here, 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 <laughs> here. Ugh, mm. like here. <laughs> Tifa, Elena, Tifa, <laughs> Elena. <laughs> but you can do the same. Highlight how many times blonde comes up. <laughs> five out of eleven. Wait, oh, uh, wait, wait. Is that eleven? Right? No, no. Find all. Find all. Oh, it's eleven. Uh, Not so bad. Uh, uh, is this, like, what does it say? Eleven. Uh, oh, fifteen. Oh, fifteen oh, times. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Where was I? Wait, where were we? Uh oh. Uh, -oh. uh Blonde comes up a couple oh, times. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Every every fifteen times is a lot, but <laughs> it's like, it's a. <laughs> It's not, not, it's, not kind of, it's not insignificant. <laughs> <laughs> God, why is the pen moving so hard? <laughs> okay, um, are you jealous? Okay, here, Elena blinked. <clears throat> Elena blinked as the smirking brunette suddenly came into view, but she regained that composure, and she frowned almost immediately. I am not jealous. See, she knew she would deny it. You are so jealous. It's written all over your face. <laughs> Tifa poked at her forehead. Some. <laughs> Some. <laughs> Some. Oh, oh my god. I'm face palming so oh hard. Oh my god. Every time I think I'm, too, I'm going to be too tired for your Friday, you inject me with vitality. <laughs> if Elena is mentioned, I will play the forbidden G note. What? I don't understand. I don't get it. Okay. Some. Some. <laughs> she poked at her forehead some. Some. Yeah. God. That's so teenager. Here we go. Elena spotted her hand away and allowed a little smile. Smile? <laughs> Through her proud facade. facade. <laughs> facade. Why would 
I be jealous? She quickly reverted back to her full mask nonchalance, turning over to face the brunette. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone's facing each other. I can't face the truth. Multiple times. <laughs> like every time, I just imagine she just turns towards her very seriously. Turn. Turn. Every time they talk, turn. Yeah. <laughs> camera just pens to a dead on straight <laughs> shot <laughs> how much poking is some it's some poking not one or two but some oh. okay <clears throat> uh turning over to face the brunette and redirecting tifa so she wouldn't be towering over her how how <laughs> did she redirect her <laughs> what did she even do <laughs> like taking her head <laughs> that I was when I wrote uh-huh. this and and somebody laughed this hard I Aww. would be so sad though Aww. but now as X amount of years older when was this mm. written 2006 15 years older yeah yeah 2006 to 2021 yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow wow <laughs> time flies <laughs> yup mm. uh, she can fight so she can redirect <laughs> <laughs> okay um, no reason. Uh, Tifa rested her head on the opposite end of Elena's pillow. That okay. smug smirk still on her face as she watched <laughs> the frustrated blonde. <laughs> this is a summary smirk. of this entire chapter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so warm from being embarrassed. <laughs> because you have nothing to worry about. Tifa smiled and <laughs> smiled and smiled and smiled. She smiled again. <laughs> oh my god. And snaked one of her hands around Elena's waist. I don't have any feelings for you, Fee. Elena almost sighed in relief, but she kept silent. She didn't know what to make of the contact. Was Tifa coming on to her? <laughs> Strong, strong brunette's strong eyes. Strong brunette's eyes. <laughs> and hope for the best. The feelings she had so many years ago were still burning deep inside herself. And judging from the way Tifa looked at her and how she acted towards her, she probably felt the same way. Hmm. Of course, Elena wasn't going to assume, but she could still hope. So there they lay, side by side, silently staring at each other through the darkness. Hmm. I like that line. That's not that sense. bad. Hmm. Good job. Once again, it was Tifa who broke the silence. Elena. She was thinking of similar things, and now with the blonde so close to her, (laughs) the blonde so close to her for the first time in years, to have her in her arms again after such long separation, she just had to ask. She had to know. (laughs) What are we? (laughs) Elena, what are we? What a vague <clears throat> question, Elena thought. Is there really an answer to it? Her blonde's mind raced and her heart heart pounded against her chest. What were they? They were a 23-year-old woman on the run from a major corporation. So <clears throat> that's actually incorrect. They Ooh. should be 25 at that point ah. because that was two years after two years after Final Fantasy VII. So, Advent Children was two years after Final Fantasy VII, mm-hmm. and 
Um, this is supposed to take place two years after Advent Children. Uh, what are we fighting for? <laughs> <laughs> what are we <laughs> fighting, fighting for? <laughs> the funny thing is that <clears throat> name probably came after. Yes. <laughs> when did that? When did that Mega Man game come out? Uh, what are we fighting for? Mega oh, Man like X. Anime, yeah? Mega yeah. Man X. Wait, what? Where did it come from? What are we fighting for, uh, Mega Man? Uh huh. What am I fighting X4. for? X4. Okay, it's from X4. Oh. There you go. Wait, is that scene from the game, or is it's it from, from the game? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I thought it was yeah. from an adaptation. I mean, there were uh, anime scenes inside the game. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think that's how it went cool. in the PlayStation version. Pretty sure. Okay. I, mean, uh, I never played, but that's cool. So they were 25 year old women I on see. the run from a major corporation. They were former employees. They were former employees of a bar in the slums. They were ex-soldiers who rebelled and got their memories erased. Mm. They were fighters who yearned for the heat of battle once again. Mm. They were survivors, even in a world as cruel as theirs. They were once lovers, together in some kind of fateful bond that didn't want to be broken. But really, what were they? I guess that all depends on what Tifa meant by the question, probably. <laughs> what is there probably there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. All this contemplation. Probably. probably. <laughs> well, I mean, if you I can't mean, about mean, all of these thoughts. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't, and everything I said is just invalid. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know, Tifa. The brunette didn't move. I also said brunette many times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, brunette okay. and blonde. <laughs> All right, what's brunette? Although I don't times think he brunette? said it as many times as blonde. Eight times. Eight times. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, mm -hmm. What are we here with this? This, uh, <laughs> this is as far as we've gotten. Okay. <laughs> We're about um, halfway done with the chapter. It's been thirty yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. We'll have to do one more. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, the brunette didn't move. She didn't want to shift her body. She feared that if she were to move even an inch, she would wake up and this would all be some kind of weird dream. Mm. She feared that if she were to move, Elena would wiggle away from her grasp, from her touch, and she would have lost her once again. But still, the answer that Elena gave her wasn't satisfying enough. Although she feared the outcome of her actions, Tifa inched a little bit forward. She moved the hand that was wrapped around Elena's waist up to her face. <laughs> Not losing eye contact with her. This one I think is okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe cheek. If cheek would have been a, a better word here. Dis more descriptive. More descriptive yeah. than face, because otherwise. Are you gonna put a ball on the front of her face? <laughs> it's like uh, over her eye. <laughs> <laughs> Go quietly <laughs> into the into the night, sweet prince. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Not losing eye contact with her, then tucking a loose lock of blonde hair between behind Elena's ear, she gently cupped her cheek. Oh, there oh, you okay, go. Oh, there yeah, you yeah. go. So with where was it before? <laughs> On her. <laughs> She brought it up toward her face, to ah, her face, I and guess. then she put the hair behind okay. her ear, and then went from the ear down to her cheek. Ah, I can see it. I yeah, yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> what are we gay, though? Oh. <laughs> How many times is face used? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Final. Okay, what wait, which page are we on first? Uh, um, okay, I'll just remember page six of 11. Sure. 11? That's not that bad. That's not that bad. It's a lot in that one like, yeah. chunk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's all I, localized. I mean, that's 1% of the amount of... Wait, no. 11 words out of 4,000 words? No, it's not 1%. Sorry. Oh, I was looking at 44 no, no. characters, but... Um, wait. Uh, where were we? Uh, uh, right here? here? Okay. Yeah, 4,129 words. Mm -mm. I'm more interested in how many times period, period. Oh, was don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, gently cupped her cheek, whispering, Elena, do you still have feelings for me? What? I, I, she stuttered out, a lump catching in her throat. She knew her cheeks must have been a dark red, because it's dark in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just have to say that. <laughs> no! Like her cheeks must have been dark.
dark red. Yeah. Like, but yes, she couldn't see her own cheeks <laughs> even if it was in the dark. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was thinking. So Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't choke. It's okay. We're okay. Good. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, yeah. how you get the good. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because she could feel the heat rising to them. She was so close. Elena could almost feel her breath on her lips. Just look a little closer and. Oh, man. Her mind raced a million miles a minute. What do I say? Do I still like her? Well, yes, but. Am I ready to say so? What will happen if I do? Maybe she's just playing around because she remembers we used to be together. Well, she doesn't seem like she's playing around. Maybe she still likes me. <laughs> <laughs> it sure seems like it, but... Oh, Shiva, I'm hoping for too much. I was waiting for you to read that. <laughs> oh, Shiva. Oh, Shiva. If <laughs> silent for too long. I have to say something. Anything. Just speak, Elena. <laughs> oh man, oh jeez, oh, oh god, man. oh god. <laughs> oh no, man. Oh no, no. what oh, do dear. I say? Oh dear. <laughs> oh Shiva. Oh <laughs> Shiva. <laughs> this is still you. Instead of speaking though, Elena figured her actions were a thousand times more meaningful. She was acting impulsively, but she didn't care. Elena closed the space between her and Tifa, <gasps> wrapping her arm around her waist and pressing her lips firmly against the brunette's. Mmm, you see, you see, you see. You see. <laughs> Years of separation and loneliness poured forth into the passion of that one kiss, that one little interaction between the two women, meaning so much deeper within. <laughs> sure. <laughs> gay humor. <laughs> Super <Lesbian>. gay. <laughs> and although the kiss probably only lasted a short time, it felt like an eternity for the two. Once they finally reluctantly pulled away, they were breathless. Not only had it been so long since they felt the love of another in, the, in that way, but it had never felt so dizzying before. Why is Oshiva and Crap in the same line? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Oji, so I don't get it. Mom, that's you. What do we do? <laughs> okay, panic. This is this is gay panic, but in thought form. Mm -mm. Oh God, what do I, I say? Can, I can relate. <laughs> I can relate to. Oh really? I have to say something. I feel like Elena's your perfect character. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely what I'm thinking. <clears throat> And clearly, I identified with Tifa, so I think that this is working out pretty well for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wrote this what fifteen years ago? Wow! 16 years ago? You're predicting the future. Seventeen years ago? Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> Holy cow! Um. Uh huh. Is uh, mm hmm. When the, okay. Did you read this? Never did uh, before. Yeah. Finally, Tifa decided to respond. A warm smile present on her lips. I'll take that as a yes. Likewise, Elena replied, a similar smile on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Soon enough, the effects of the day and the comfort of the other were enough to lull the two to sleep. There were so many things to worry about, so many things to plan, and so many things to stress over. I, there were so many things! There's just, There's just so many things to say, so many things to! Okay, <laughs> But for now, for at least this one night, both of them could forget about it all and just focus on the warmth of the other and the sounds of their interlaced heartbeats. Aww, mm -hmm. so romantic. Very gay. Um, <coughs> let me think about this one. Gay. Um, mm -hmm. I want you... Uh, no, I, I have to read this part. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, I have to read this part. Sure. I can read if there's anything else after this. I can <clears throat> Actually... <clears throat> It's sort of weird, but um, uh -huh. does she have notifications on? What do you mean? Oh, a super chat! <gasps> thank you so much for the super chat, Silent Owl! Yay! Thank you for the four dollars. <laughs> uh, super chat, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I didn't 
uh, I'm looking at it from like it doesn't go through restream chat, but mm. I'm looking at it on the YouTube side as well. I is there have a way to set up like, on? Yeah, is there a way to set up an alert? Uh, maybe, maybe stream labs. Mm. But uh, maybe it's like logged into Twitch or something right now. That's the problem. Yeah, probably <laughs> alert. Probably have to but then how does it get my later. subscriptions from YouTube? Oh, you're right. Maybe so there's a super challenge. Maybe there's a super challenge. Hang on, hang on. Donation. Hmm. I feel like the uh, YouTube alert is different. Is it the, the same uh, alert box? I sh it should be <clears throat> donos, right? Uh, yes, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> oh, 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 YouTube. Oh, oh there Okay, you okay. Super chat. Uh, test super chat. Oh, 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 oh. It's, it's, it's so tiny! It's <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Super chats. I didn't have my. Wait, did it play a sound even? I don't even think it played. Um, alert parries. What? New alert will interrupt the on screen alert. Oh. <clears throat> you, yeah, it's probably something you would have to try out and like work out on your own, you know? Uh, yeah, probably. Super chats. <clears throat> uh, wiggle, open. Okay, uh, a loud. Uh huh, uh huh. Sound volume. Okay, 50%. Yeah. Hmm. Like one, one more out. time. Uh, let me do a test chat. Test super chat. Yeah. Oh, here the woody woo. Okay. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, super pad sounds nice too. I want you. That's cute. Wait, where is that? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. But yes, that would be very cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I write that somewhere here? <laughs> okay. Um, I um, want. I do want you to read. I want you to read this, this okay. whole, the, like this part until it starts. Like cause this is all in first person, right? And mm, then, and then there's parts that are not like the parts that aren't italicized are not in first person. Uh, okay, okay, so I want you to read this. <clears throat> Alert, Perry a... sounds like something Daigo would do. <laughs> yeah. All right, I will also take a sip. Mm? Bark, bark. One second. Yeah. All right. Where? Am I? I don't know. Wait, remember what they taught me. Analyze the situation. A little younger. Oh, wait. I, oh, okay. Wait, remember what they taught me. That's better. Analyze the situation. This black room with no windows. My eyes are open, but I don't see anything. There's no light coming in from anywhere. Am I dead? Ow! <laughs> okay, shouldn't have pinched myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, at <clears throat> least I know I'm not dead. I'm lying in a bed, but I don't know where. It's harder than my bed at home. The sheets feel stiff, and this pillow feels flat. I must be somewhere where they have a lot of these beds. In a hospital? Did I get hurt? I don't remember getting hurt. What's that sound? Footsteps. It's soft, but I can hear something other than myself now. That must mean I'm not here alone. The question now is if they're here to help me or not. I try my voice, but it doesn't work. Exactly how long have I been asleep for? Al again. Okay, blinding light. At least now I see something. Examine your surroundings again. Get a feel for the area. My eyes are finally adjusting to the sudden bright light and I'm actually in a white room. There's a mirror on the wall and the furniture is silver. The ceiling has a fan in the middle. And the bed I'm in has a little teddy bear in the corner of it. It sure looks like a hospital. Those footsteps were coming closer, so I guess it's probably a doctor. It sounded like they were wearing heels, so it's probably a woman. Wait a second. Since when could I hear so well? <laughs> Are you awake now, my prodigy? Prodigy? The door is opening and I was right. It's a woman and she has blonde hair. She looks like she's in her 30s. But then again, a lot of old people look pretty young nowadays. Anyways, I didn't say anything. <laughs> nowadays, anyways. Nowadays, anyways. <laughs> You're in a coma. Ooh. Anyways, I didn't say anything back. I couldn't seem to get my voice working. Ah, right. You can't speak right now. Well, you can see me, yes? I nodded, but I had, ne I had never seen this woman before. Was this really a hospital? Good, that means you haven't lost your sight. She has a clipboard with her. 
She's writing stuff. Was I supposed to was I supposed to go blind or something? She's checking her watch. Seems just wait, seems just about time for the next injection. Can you sit up? Injection? Oh, well, if this is a hospital, I guess they give injections. But why do I need one? It seems you've forgotten what's happened as well. Hmm. I suppose that's a good thing. Now be a good girl and hold still. I did as I was told, even though I hate getting shots. But then my body suddenly felt tired and heavy again. It wasn't until the last second did I see the Shinra logo on the opposite wall. <laughs> you read that really well. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That was good. You did that part justice. Yay. 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 Tifa's eyes opened suddenly, staring up at the silver metallic ceiling of the airship's cabin. What was that? Another memory? Was that what happened to them when they were still in Soldier? Or maybe it was a glimpse of what Marlene was experiencing oh, right now. Oh, this is from Tifa's perspective. Oh. No, Tifa, calm down. It was just a hallucination. It was probably just another memory. They wouldn't do that so soon to Marlene, would they? Hmm. Her head ached again. That familiar throbbing she felt, that she felt whenever her mind went through the process of pondering Shinra's actions. She had a cold sweat on her forehead, indicating that she was being disturbed by the dream, even in her subconscious state. I could just <laughs> that. She had a cold sweat on her forehead. <laughs> now she was for a team. Just in case you didn't Tifa. know. <laughs> the queen of too much explanation. <laughs> A lot of people look pretty like young nowadays. And that's basically anime in a nutshell. That was basically what I was going for. It's that, like, it doesn't matter how old you are. Every character looks like they're under 40. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <clears throat> Unless they have, like, a lot of deep-set wrinkles. In yeah. Their or they go like, oh, I'm so old. Oh, <laughs> young ones, oh, yeah, little, yeah. your Game Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my And your Game Boys. <laughs> <laughs> the plot thickens, yes. Uh, now she was worried. She knew they only took Denzel and Marlene as hostages for her and Elena to return to them. But what if they decide to do some of their unorthodox experiments on those kids? Just thinking about it made Tifa's ch stomach churn. Her eyes were staring straight up, but in the corner of her eye, she could see something else. Oh, but not only that, she could feel something else as well. Uh -huh. Something warm and inviting was wrapped around her. Tifa slowly turned her head, and her eyes met with the similar brown ones of Elena. Hmm? What's wrong, Tief? Had a nightmare? Elena asked, her concerned eyes staring back into the brunettes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. If I, if I had a, a, a shot for every time freaking hair color is mentioned. <laughs> we wouldn't survive. It's so We'd pervasive. Sur not survive this chapter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elena had her head on Tifa's shoulder ever since they fell asleep. But once she had started squirming around, the blonde immediately woke up. Elena could tell from the distressed look on Tifa's face that something was disturbing her. So, until the woman woke up, the blonde just wrapped her arms around her midsection, hoping she could offer some comfort. I hope it was just a nightmare. Tifa whispered softly in reply. Either a nightmare or another memory. Or maybe it's what Marlene's going through. She brought her up her free hand to her forehead and tried to tame the beast of a headache she had. It was times like this she wished she'd carried around a remedy or something. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> that's like in yours. my bag with a capital B. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just check my inventory. Inventory. <laughs> 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 Damn it, out of remedy. <laughs> oh, good. I have 99 from the ones I hoarded before the final boss fight. <laughs> they don't have to save up for boss fights. Dot teeth. <laughs> Headache dot teeth. <clears throat> Some kind of painkiller. Well, she would just have to bear through it again. However, as any mother, surrogate or not, would do, her mind wandered back to those kids. Marlene. Denzel. Inwardly, the brunette was beating herself up over what happened. If she had taken better care of the children, this ordeal wouldn't have happened. If she had been a better surrogate mother and paid attention to those kids, rather than just on herself and her job, they'd still be with her. Tifa, however, didn't voice her thoughts. She didn't want to burden Elena with her issues because she dragged the blonde far enough into her life. She didn't want to have to rely on her too much for support. Tifa wanted to be the one to support her. 
The dark haired woman, okay. <laughs> sure. Not You're not a brunette anymore. You're a dark haired woman now. The dark haired woman, the brunette greeted the blonde and asked her face what was wrong. Anyway, she's probably fighting. <laughs> <laughs> she thought uh-huh. <laughs> with the, the, with the thoughts all. racing through <laughs> her mind. <laughs> uh, turned her head again, away again, um, staring up the ceiling once more. She didn't want to see Elena to see her weak, so if she were to let loose and start to cry, she didn't want Elena to know. Elena could sense the stubborn pride in the woman, though. She knew she was holding back, and she wouldn't let her. Elena wanted to be involved in her life. Elena wanted to be the only one Tifa could really rely on for support when she can't support others any longer. As cliche as it sounds, Elena wanted to be the sol- shoulder Tifa could cry on. Shoulder soldier? Soldier? <laughs> soldier. I know, shoulder. but soldier shoulder. Shoulder shoulder. Soldier, shoulder. Soldier, Elena soldier. wanted to be the soldier shoulder Tifa soldier, could cry on. Shoulder. <laughs> That's a tongue twister on its own. <laughs> she dragged the sentient vlog and we go around and <laughs> Imagine you went to walk into a room and there's just a pop-up and you're like, we recommend you, get, you save before the next session. <laughs> Hello, vlog <laughs> diameter. I'm going with the five swallowing feet. So, oh my god. I can't handle it. It's so funny. Okay. Imagine you're about to go into, like, I don't know, a birthday party and it says several cutscenes are about to play in a row. <laughs> we recommend you set it up, set enough sufficient time to view them. Would all. you like to skip? Would you like to skip? <laughs> Would you like to skip cutscene? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> shoulder. Shoulder. <laughs> shoulder. Elena wanted to be the shoulder Tifa could cry on. What happened wasn't your fault, okay? She placed her hand on Tifa's cheek. And turn the brunette's head. <laughs> she does that a lot. She does reconvenes her, her face. She, she, she keeps redirecting, redirecting her face. face. <laughs> I'm dying. This hurts so bad. I was so confident in this bad thing. I was so sure this was good. <laughs> Okay, go. I mean, I think it's still good. <laughs> she started like sturdy. <laughs> Overall, it's good. Some of the stylistic, but I think it's good. It's got a good. It's good. The good premise. It's a good yeah, premise. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay. Um, it wasn't your fault. Okay, she placed her hand. Uh, yeah, and her bed. Looking to her eyes with a small, reassuring smile. <laughs> But I can tell you right now that we'll definitely get them back. Tifa stared back at the Turk, her eyes glassy with near tears. The hard part is trying to be serious. This is like a very serious scene <laughs> in my head. Like, they're having a moment. Oh, yeah, they're having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> if you skip the cutscene, check your party, you notice your girlfriend isn't in there anymore, you don't know why. Aww. Aww. <clears throat> her eyes glassy with near tears. They weren't tears of sadness, but of hope. What does that fucking mean? <laughs> hopeful tears? <laughs> Don't you just get so hopeful? You cry? <laughs> I'm so hopeful. <laughs> did small Yuma like dramatic tears lot? Yes, she did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she did. Perhaps she just needed that reassurance that she could get through this. Maybe she just wanted to be the one to be cheered up for once, rather than having to always be the optimist in the group. Yo, this is just projecting now. This oh is, my this God. is me. This I is thought small. That was the whole fanfic. Yeah, the whole fanfic <laughs> is just me projecting. It's like, oh, I wish I had memory loss, and then I suddenly remembered that I had this sweet girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I read bad. This is not bad. You must. Thank you, MD. Thank you. What if we were ex soldiers and we were both girls? Uh-huh. Haha, <laughs> JK. Haha, <laughs> JK. <laughs> Or maybe it was just the determination, reliability, and trust in Elena's eyes that made Tifa just want to melt into her arms and never be released. Mm -hmm. So even despite all the all the pride and inhibitions, Uh (laughs) Tifa allowed a single tear to slide down her cheek. A single manly (laughs) tear. I had a tough time allowing myself to cry as a teenager. I just never allowed myself to cry. Mm. 
Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Elena was proud that she could break through that wall that Tifa managed to build around herself through the years. Gently wiping away that tear and placing a gentle kiss on the fighter's forehead. Fighter, okay, fighter, that's a different not one. brunette. <laughs> nope. She sealed the silent oath. What was the... Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Gently wiping away the tear and placing a kiss. Oh, yeah. So she wiped away the tear. With the tear uh-huh. that she wiped away. Like, g- gently wiping the tear. Uh-huh. She pla- She sealed the silent oath. If you took out this... Or placing a gentle kiss, she sealed the silent oath. It's just a really bad way of writing uh, okay. it. <laughs> Elena <clears throat> promised herself in her own mind that she... Would- her own mind? <laughs> herself on her own mind that she, would, <laughs> that she would use every ounce of her being to ensure that those tears would never appear <laughs> I'm glad that 
uh, you're having a good time, and I'm glad that you're able to laugh at yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I understand that this is bad. I, I accept this. <laughs> this was, like, what, more than half my life ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was younger when I wrote this. This, this fan fiction <laughs> is older than I was when I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm okay with that. I know what what uh-huh. X graders this write fan like. fiction could drive. This fan fiction could write itself. <laughs> <laughs> my face is hurting with my own smile. <laughs> my own face is hurting for smiles <laughs> from laughing. So much. <laughs> I thought on my own brain. <laughs> to the blonde. She fit her head perfectly into the crook of Elena's neck and whispered a soft thank you before once again attempting to sleep. How grateful Tifa was to have Elena there. How grateful was she? Because <laughs> she just said it! Yeah. <laughs> um, the Turk was like a painkiller that she was getting addicted to. The only thing Tifa really could do could really do was pray that nothing would take that away from her. That's oh, not a death flag or anything. <laughs> that's not a death flag or anything. That's not. Oh, hey, that's the end of yay. the day. Yay, yay. Oh, my Time gosh. For the this best author's hey, so <laughs> If the third pick is being made, it's me. <laughs> hmm. Author's note. Uh, there's the end of chapter eight. Yay. I am so, so sorry about the long wait. I hope people still remember this fic, and I hope some of the scenes in this one compensate for the length of time, uh, uh, length of time needed to wait for it. Sure. <laughs> uh, after all, anticipation makes things taste that much sweeter. Yeah, that's a good excuse. <laughs> this this fanfiction tastes on your delicious. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, and the on professor your is like, I am anticipating your homework. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe, you're my friend. <laughs> I'm anticipating your homework. <laughs> they just take the bite out of it. It's like, mm, so sweet. <laughs> delicious. So delicious. Don't work. All work. Oh my god. Okay. I do, however, have my reasons for the long delay of update. Uh huh. Uh huh. Those reasons? Um, let me read, read this first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I had final exams during June-ish. Mm-hmm. My computer had to be reformatted, so I lost most of the chapters and notes. Aww. That actually sucks. I broke, fractured my wrist, which meant very, very inconvenient <laughs> typing. Aww. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I know exactly when I had broken my wrist. <clears throat> I got a girlfriend. Yay! Happy face, time well spent. <laughs> I've been in a computer slump since the reformat because my video card wasn't working, but I got it to work recently and have been playing guns online, like, nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like these are all, like, reasons why I didn't turn in my <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After two months, I was done chapter eight, then I restarted. <laughs> A month after restarting it, I had another delay which made me forget what I wanted to put into this <laughs> chapter. Then I went back to my original idea and added the new parts to it. Okay. Also, I got a job teaching little kitties how to kick blocks. Aww. XD. <laughs> That's when I had the, that job. Huh. Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. Yes, I remember. I did break my wrist when I had that job. So, yes. Oh, that's around that time. Wow. Guns online. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, my favorite month, june <laughs> <laughs> So, again, sorry about the extremely prolonged update. I'll try to do better. I just hope I don't this know. chapter is well worth the wait. As always, review, please. Yay. <clears throat> I didn't do better because what? How many years has it been? It's been five years since the last update, <laughs> I think. Let me know how you've mastered case styling. Um, I, I got my, um, <clears throat> what was it? B, uh, it's like B swing or B, I forgot what the, the tech was called in, um, <clears throat> B knifing, B jumping, B... It was butterfly hopping. Be hopping? I don't remember. <clears throat> I see you broke it not because you were risk deep in your girlfriend, but because you were a <laughs> You know, the funny part <clears throat> is those two things happened around the same time. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
But this was an online relationship. Not and me. <laughs> it was not. It was <laughs> not oh, Victoria. No, otherwise. Uh, that would mean that I write like this weird. now. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's funny that I broke my wrist and also had a girlfriend. Um, but like, yeah, online girlfriend just meant that I could type very fast towards her. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was online. <clears throat> Yep, that's chapter eight. Yay! <laughs> you want to read chapter nine? Sure. <laughs> How long is chapter nine? <clears throat> Let's find out. Mm. Oh, it's a lot longer. Oh, it's seven thousand four hundred seventy-three words, and it has a uh, OST associated with it. Ooh, <clears throat> I like that. Hmm. Hydrate, redeem. All right, be hopping. Yes, it was called be hopping. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so <clears throat> we can read this chapter and go on for another couple hours, or. You could swap the Twitch and play it takes two. Yeah. What would you like to do? I would. <clears throat> hmm. Is this the airport bathroom girlfriend? It is the airport bathroom girlfriend. I'm impressed that you remembered that. Airport bathroom. You don't remember. I that. don't remember. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. So um, when I the very first girlfriend that I got um, was uh, I can say this was from Hawaii. Uh huh. And. Uh, she visited uh, Vancouver. I'm being really careful with my words here. She visited Vancouver uh -huh. during the time we were dating. Mm -hmm. And uh, she... Uh, I was, like, all not confident that I would be able to, like, make the first move because I'd never, like, kissed a girl before. Uh -huh. So yeah. I was like, okay. Um, so she arrived... And um, my mom was basically like, we, we picked her and her dad up from the airport. Hmm. Um, and I would love to read more. I can't <laughs> sure. um, Like her and her, my mom and I picked her and her dad up from the airport. And um, we, were, we went to the bathroom because uh, we were just gonna go like wash our hands or whatever because you know, airports and airplanes are dirty. And so right. my mom was like, go wash your hands. Right. Like, okay, <laughs> I'll go with her. Sure. And then uh, basically uh, I just like took the first step and I like just kissed her in the bathroom. Aww. Like, and it was like a very sudden and like so awkward. Like it wasn't awkward because it was actually like a very, it was like a very good first kiss. Like, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. It just happened to be in the airport bathroom. It just bathroom. happened to be in the airport bathroom. Mm. And it was like the first moment that I uh, had like met her. Was that in Oahu? No, it was in Vancouver. So it was when I lived in Vancouver mm. and when she arrived she at came. Vancouver yeah, Airport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, she, she basically, because then uh, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to act on that and then she she was like oh you were like totally wrong you were totally able to to make the first move yeah. you know <laughs> so like she, she like teased me a lot she was like nah because she was older than me so she was like oh, oh baby yuma oh, and i was like yeah, no baby <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> but yes she was my first girlfriend <laughs> yeah so I was really proud of myself because I was like, I'm able to be a top. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 you must top career Proven was born. Baby, you must top career was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is, yeah. Okay, you, you would love to read more. Well, how about you? Yeah, I'll how give you another one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I feel like since this happens only once every two months, People's got to get their money. Yeah, I feel that money too. Worth. Okay, yeah. let's swap this to the, uh, this is browser window properties. Mm -hmm. uh, chapter nine. Okay. So okay. should we pull and up then, the song? Yeah, we should. Mm. Uh, what what point font was the other, other version? 12? Okay. <clears throat> 12 point font? Yep. Uh, whoop. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. Uh, oh God, ugh. There's like so many things to keep track of. Optional yeah. background music. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. let me open up. I guess YouTube. All these, yeah. <clears throat> YouTube somewhere. YouTube somewhere. YouTube. Uh, Descendant <clears throat> of the Shinobi. And there's an option to loop videos in YouTube. Oh yeah, Descendant. You don't have to worry too much about finding a long version. Piano, probably. Oh yeah, this is all from the. <clears throat> this oh, is all tape. from the like the piano version. Oh no. 
Uh, I think it would sound good with the piano version, but it doesn't okay, matter. Do, okay, let's do the piano version of this one. Okay, there's that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, you know what? They don't hear it. Uh, here. Oh. Uh, properties. Okay, here. <clears throat> ah, there. You didn't hear it? <laughs> Yeah. Do we really need to count Dirge's cannon? <laughs> good question. Good question. <laughs> you shouldn't doubt yourself. You made the first movie in 22. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's not untrue. <laughs> yeah, that's what Wait, happened. Wait, <laughs> did you have one before that you broke up with her on Christmas? You mentioned during one of the past chapters, author notes. Huh? Did you? I might have had like an online relationship. Oh. Oh, it's like the that. very. First or second one? I think there was something like that. Oh, yeah. I yeah. probably did. I yeah. don't remember that very well, though. <laughs> like, I was so young. <laughs> and dating online. <laughs> like, what was... Right. <laughs> online Does... relationships are so fleeting. Come and go. <laughs> Does voice acting gay stuff count as gay action? I mean, yeah. Yeah. I would count it. <laughs> How do I loop this? this... Uh, right click. Auto play. Right click. Oh, loop. Yeah, right click on the video. Ah. This is so. Okay, here. Uh, need to know urgently before I accidentally hit on a friend. <laughs> I mean. It can be. It can be. It also doesn't have to be. Yeah. You know, it's up to you. There's plenty of straight people that voice gay stuff. Uh huh. Although it'd be nice if gay people voice gay stuff. <laughs> yeah. If I had to guess, they're going to do Vincent for the next <clears throat> remake because they didn't have the villain in it from Yuffie's trailer. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. You need to keep, keep getting into on, you keep getting into online relationships. Wow. Like there were zero options in the Catholic high school that I went yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how. Well, probably some of them have come out like by now. during that time. But during that time. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I basically yeah. had to go to like gay youth groups to be, like meet other gay girls. Mm. <laughs> Was it like gay? Like Catholic youth groups or just no. gay, gay youth groups? Gay youth groups, oh. yeah. As soon as I learned how to drive and could have that independence, hmm. I basically went weekly to this one gay youth group <laughs> in Vancouver. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> there were a couple around, but uh, I went to the ones that had cool, fun like nights, like slam poetry, because Ooh. I did do that. <laughs> yeah, and you killed it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I remember I was in my office when you were reading that part at work and it was an all moment ah which, which part the other relationship part oh i see i see mm. okay um, i guess we'll just start yeah okay, <laughs> okay. do you want to put all the songs on or? oh yeah 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 okay this mm -hmm. is the one song uh okay holding your thoughts in my heart you sweet. this one is not the piano version <laughs> Those chosen by the planet YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, Good night, Chocopan. Bye. Thanks for coming to the stream. <clears throat> Thanks, Chocopan. You keep an eye on the chat. I'm going to look okay. at these songs. Hi, chat. I have my <laughs> face on you. <laughs> <laughs> Your blunt eyes. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching you with my blunt other eyes. On side of the mountain, uh, YouTube. <laughs> What? Uh, okay, YouTube. Does the Catholic school you went to an all-girls school like flowers? No. Mm. No, it wasn't an all-girls school. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a co-ed school, oh. unfortunately. Um, okay, here's this. Uh, on that day, on that day, five years ago. Hi, hello, my own face. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Tori's own face. Hi, MD. I think MD is Gol Gol on Twitch. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I was lucky since one of my youth group leaders I was close to at my church was gay, so it helped me work through my feelings. Um, oh, that is lucky. It's pretty rare to have someone who's. LGBT. Oh yeah, at a church youth group. At a, at a church. Yeah. Yeah. As a as a leader, like mm -hmm. endorsed by the church to be a leader. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, very lucky. That is very lucky. 
Okay, Mark of... There's a lot of songs here. Mark of a Traitor. Mark of a Traitor. Uh, FF7 YouTube. Do you ever think in someone else's mind? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. I do not have that power. I know other spirits have that power, but I do not ah, have that power. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Barrett's theme. Or Sid's theme. Which one would you prefer? Barrett's theme or Sid's theme? Uh, we'll Barrett's theme. Barrett's. Sure. <laughs> Barrett's theme. FF7. Yeah. YouTube. All girls' schools have higher chances of having the gays. That's where they go. I wish. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think when you're that young, you're able to make that decision for yourself. Usually just like yeah. your parents throw you into whatever school. Well, my parents wanted me to go to the same school that my brothers went to. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, where can I find this? Remake music. I don't want the remake version. Like I you couldn't see. choose to go to a, like an all girls boarding school or something. There you go. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but I feel like there would be a lot more homophobia. Yeah. Can y'all hear the music, by the way? Let me know if you can. Going to like an all-girls boarding school would terrify me. <laughs> really? I mean, I, I yeah, guess... Yeah, they're pretty... It, they would get pretty catty. Yeah, exactly. Like, it would be fine if you could go, like staying in the closet but being open yeah yeah i feel like it's, it'd be really scary it's a bit scary intimidating hang mm -hmm. on let me open this so that you can all see the beginning <laughs> of the author's <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait what did i write anything sus in here no i don't think so it's, it's been on the stream for like 15 minutes <laughs> <laughs> Yuma in cute uniform is a really cute image in my head now. I hear it. Okay, good. I'm glad you hear it. Um, yes. Uh, so we had a dress code. It wasn't a... Not a uniform. It wasn't a uniform. I actually like was allowed to wear pants if I wanted to, so I wore pants Ooh. most of the time. Yeah. But there was exactly one day in my senior year where I was like, all right, I'm going to wear a kilt. And then I wore a kilt for the one day. And I was Whoa. like, you know, maybe I should have done this more often during the school years. <laughs> I'm so fortunate that my Catholic yeah. school is a bit accepting for LGBT people and less conservative, and they've sped, of sped, but I'm in more of the mainstream curriculum. Oh, I see. Well, that's, that's good. good. I'm yeah. glad. Okay. Author's note. Yeah, yeah. I'll admit, the last chat chapter was sappy, XD. No. <laughs> I was hoping to receive more reviews before I started the next chapter, but here I am, starting the next chapter. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, this poor one is baby, you are not getting reviews. No, no <laughs> reviews, and she was sad. Um, anyways, this is centered on the growing love triangle square quadrilateral that is building in between our little party of four. <laughs> quadrilateral. <laughs> it's, not, it's not perfectly sing. It's not perfect edges, so it can't be not a square. Not perfect square. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it just has four random besides to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know in the movie, Yuffie didn't get airsick on Sid's new ship, the Shiro or whatever, but they also had a lot of mistakes in that movie. Like Sang was supposed to be dead, Rufus was supposed to be dead, physics were defied to the max, so whatever. <laughs> physics defied to the max. Yes, Because they it's were. Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, it's because it was Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can scroll this a little bit up. It yeah. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Square quadrilateral. Mm -hmm. Square lateral. Whatever, XD. Also, I don't know what I was going through when I wrote this chapter. That there were big mood swings between the <laughs> scenes. You can tell from the music that it's kind of contradicting, but I guess it adds sense of contrast, showing exactly how different the mood can be between the situations that are presented. Sure. Author's note number two. <laughs> Like, I, sorry I miswrote this, but it was also, it's really it's good. It's not like I could have changed it, you know? Like, obviously, whatever I wrote the first time has to be the one that goes out. This is a first draft only, can never be changed. <laughs> That's what streams are, only mm -hmm. first drafts. Author's note number two. What in mood swings? This is going to be good, whatever uh. physics. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, finally got Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus. I haven't beaten it, but I discovered a lot of things that contradict my fanfic. Yeah, they contradict your fanfic, not the other way around. <laughs> yeah, they contradict my fanfic. <laughs> I, mine came first! Yeah. <laughs> Is it really Final Fantasy if you can't punch a giant worm into the sun? It's not, you're right. 
For example, Tifa didn't have a bar in the rebuilt Midgar because it was so destroyed and wasted from the meteor fall, which I've been referring to as meteor era. Still, <laughs> apparently. But she had an orphanage open in Edge, which since I was unaware of this to begin with, I'll simply continue on as if <laughs> I had not played it up to chapter six of Dirge of Cerberus and hated how Square Enix ruined you feel. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Happy face. Optional background music from Final Fantasy VII OST, sections separated by line breaks or otherwise written. I'm gonna have to remember these. Um, sure. How do I? I'm just gonna. You like take a copy, yeah, copy paste. And then where do I put it? Like a notepad. A notepad. Yeah. Notepad. Paste. Da na 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 na. I guess I'll put it here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, wait, how did they ruin Yuffie? I don't remember. I had opinions. <laughs> Have they not John read my fanfiction? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are seriously adorable together. You know, I didn't own Fall Fantasy 7 at the time. I had no control over that. <laughs> <laughs> but now you do. <laughs> now I own the game. Yeah. Uh-huh. I thought she was okay. I don't know. In Dirge of Cerberus? I don't remember. I She was probably just different enough and I was just like hey, I don't like this I don't like it <laughs> oh yeah as usual the flashbacks are in italics and sound effects and other things I feel like are in bold other things just whatever like whatever I feel like is, <laughs> is bold it's just bolded it's, bold. it's yeah. emphasis <laughs> if you decide to use the background music I suggest copying it onto notepad or something oh nice <laughs> <laughs> I did do that um <laughs> it's hard to keep scrolling up and trying to find the song and then going back to the spot you're reading. But you didn't D-colon. the song in the fanfic. No, it would ruin the flow of the <laughs> fanfic, obviously. Uh, I see, I see. Okay, uh, sure. Disclaimer, beware of lesbians. Ooh, <laughs> lesbians! I don't remember, I just remember her being more serious. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> Okay, hey, lesbians. So this is uh, Yuffie's theme. Did you voice Jesse or did you voice Yuffie? I thought I think voiced I voiced Yuffie. Yuffie. Yeah, so I'll voice Jesse. Okay. Yeah. So you're sure this stuff will take care of it? Yuffie suspiciously eyeballed the <laughs> eyeball. Didn't look at the little <laughs> bottle of tablets Stick that Jesse had. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she just placed an eyeball on top <laughs> that Jesse handed to her. Being the sneaky and conniving trickster she was, the ninja felt she should be suspicious of anything consumable that she'd received from someone she's only known for 24 hours. I think that's a general gr- rule of life. Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't that she didn't trust Jesse. She just had to be careful. After all, tranquilizers or ethers aren't exactly the healthiest things in the world. True. <laughs> yeah. Jesse not a... Res- she's kind of, like, a yeah, nerdier, I guess, but, like... Um, wait, you know what? They, they kind of didn't make her that nerdy. She's more mm. like Lisa from Bang Dream. <laughs> Jessie? Yeah. <laughs> She's like kind of uh, caring, um, very like... Kind uh, She's like kind of flirty, I guess, uh, mm. in the remake. Uh, they like remade her character. And so, made her for you. Do you want me to do like her... I- I like would kind of flirty or yeah, kind of kind more of flirty. like yeah, Onesan. Sure, <laughs> like try try Onesan. Sure. How uh, Jessie nodded resolutely and replied, proud look on her face as she hooked her thumbs into the pockets of her pants. I'm positive you'll be able to go on any airship, sea vehicle, or anything without getting sick. Yuffie examined the bottle more. She had to study poisons and other kinds of medicine in order to earn her title as ninja, because that's what ninjas do, yeah. <laughs> as I learned from Naruto. Studying poisons. <laughs> it's a ninja thing. They take medical classes. <laughs> Some of them ninja. do. <laughs> Some ninjas in Naruto do. Mm-hmm. Opening the lid, she sniffed the inside. She wrinkled her nose a little. No matter how often she had to memorize the smells of medications for her training, she would never like it. It smelled of metallic substances. But of all of the deadly drugs she learned about, because I knew what drugs smelled like. I didn't know what drugs <laughs> smelled like. Deadly drugs have a certain deadly smell Deadly drugs. To <laughs> this didn't smell like any of them, so at least it wouldn't cause instant death. <laughs> um, just trust me, I took them while I was learning to fly, and I used to get sick all the time. 
The ninja arched an eyebrow at the brunette. She's also a brunette. Mm -hmm. Taking out one of the tablets, she eyed it carefully. She didn't eyeball it this time. She just eyed it. It was an <laughs> olive green color, and it's somehow just smaller than her pinky finger's tip. <laughs> we both looked at her pinky fingers. I'm looking at my... Pretty small. Yeah, it's pretty tablet. small. I mean, yeah. actually, it's pretty big. <laughs> for, well, a, for a pill. Not... not I was thinking. Oh, like, the tip, the, the tip, tip part. Tip, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think about it that way, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there seemed to be a hint of tranquilizer, some remedy, and some hint of tranquilizer. something she didn't know. What's in it? Jessie looked up as she counted off the items in her fingers. Well, there's index finger, remedy, middle finger, tranquilizer. She lifted her ring finger, but... Yuffie looked at the girl with anticipation, wondering what the secret ingredient in the formula was. And... That's all! <laughs> Jessie said with a guilty grin. Yes, there was another ingredient, but if she told Yuffie what it was, mm, then she probably wouldn't take it. <laughs> I don't know what it was. <laughs> this is the future you but not knowing. <laughs> living with an ex of mine mm -hmm. and um i just like fell asleep like took a nap on the couch or something like that and then uh i had a dream about uh iron chef mm. and uh, the dream was that i was on iron chef and i had to make food mm -hmm. and um i was doing everything and i got to the end of the show and i forgot to use the secret ingredient oh no and then i just like yelled out <laughs> <laughs> like while I was like asleep, like half asleep, I like I guess I was still dreaming because I just yelled out Secret Ingredient <laughs> <laughs> And she was so confused. She was like, What are you talking about right now? And but now we know the secret ingredient, yes. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so I don't forget the secret ingredient. Yeah, you don't forget the secret ingredient, your iron chef thing. Okay. Um Yuffie narrowed her eyes at the technician. There was something incredibly fishy about the way she said that. Sus. Sus. <laughs> well, they did say they were going to travel to Fort Condor again. Guess it would be the best time to give it a test run. Fine, but if I get sick, then I'm taking it out on you, Jessie. And with that said, she swallowed the tablet. She didn't feel anything strange. There was no twisted, sick feeling as if she were going to die. Actually, it didn't feel like anything had changed at all. Hmm. It's only been like... Three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have told this. Oh, yeah, I think I, I think I probably have during a like, or something. Um, <clears throat> weird. I don't feel any different. To be honest, so this is what teenage human not knowing anything about drugs. drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed that everything was like, Gloop, and then yeah, you're like, oh, oh I'm all oh. better. <laughs> It's like when you're playing a game and like you just take the remedy and you're instantly healed. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's how it better. works in games. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty instant. <laughs> um, weird. I don't feel any different. To be honest, Yuffie expected herself to become delusional and foam at the mouth. Then she'd be unconscious for the ride so she wouldn't have to get sick. Of course, this was just the ninja overreacting as usual. But it was still a possibility. What did you expect? That you'd level up or something? Rare candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jessie said with a smirk on her face, turning her back with a grin and walking <laughs> Wait, why is she have both a smirk and a grin? <laughs> <laughs> she had a smirk, and then a grin appeared on top of her. <laughs> now she has two mouths. She has two mouths. <laughs> oh and walking over to her seat at the control panel, she slid the pair of goggles she wore around her neck onto her face, adjusting it to her comfort before starting to flip a couple of switches. You feel like confused. Level up. The hell she was ta what's she talking about? Maybe these pills really do make you delusional. <laughs> oh, uh, Jessie rubbed the back of her neck, realizing the girl would have no clue what she was talking about. <laughs> this is great, by the way. Hold <laughs> on. Can't keep going, actually. Oh my god. Back of her neck, sure. Sorry, I've been playing too many video games lately. The technician loved her video games. Video games? <laughs> <laughs> she 
you began playing when Shinra released a new console that connected to your TV called the Shintendo. <laughs> That's great. I really like that, actually. Shintendo. She could spend hours on that thing if she didn't need to work. Jessie continued to fiddle and prepare the controls, nonchalant, as if she had done the same things a million times before. The short-haired ninja took a seat in the co-captain's chair, propping a leg up on the piece of machinery uh, in front of her. Crossing her opposite leg over that one, she leaned back in the chair and put her hands behind her head, trying to look more relaxed than she felt. Mm -hmm. the per this person beside her is an old friend of Tifa's. That meant she knew much, so much more about the, about the fighter than Yuffie did, herself did. The ninja wasn't sure if she should be jealous or if she should ask questions. Well, let's start, with, start off with the most important question right now. Uh, what you doing there? <laughs> she glanced up at the buttons. She glanced at the buttons that the technician pressed, seeing them light up. Setting up for departure. What does it look like? Jessie said with with a grin. Even though she was another grin. Even though she was <laughs> normally rather reserved. She had a bit of a devious side to her, which loved playing tricks on people. Hmm. Or simply, she loved to see the worried and nervous, nervous look on Yuffie's face. Yeah, so that's what Jeffy do was doing since the plane fell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what games does it have? Um, last Dream 7. <laughs> the ninja wing. Um... <laughs> um <clears throat> And that look did appear, laced with a hint of panic. Yuffie hurriedly strained her back and reached out in an attempt to stop her so that they wouldn't depart anytime soon. She wasn't ready to test the medicine yet, but her urgency and her awkward positioning on the chair caused for a lopsided Yuffie. With that said, she should, it should be obvious as to what happened next. Thanks, what happened next? Thanks, <laughs> thanks Yuma. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Splat. Down went Yuffie and down went Yuffie's ego. <laughs> <laughs> the ninja tumbled off the chair, landing practically face first beside Jesse's feet. Oof! The brown haired pilot stared for a moment in disbelief as she removed the goggles from her eyes and set them on her forehead. What just happened? A few seconds of silence, then the situation finally registered in both of their minds. Uh. Still you, I think? Okay. Jesse stopped, for, stopped her actions after the moment of silence to chuckle for a moment. Her shoulders shaking with hints of her laughter. Aww. Aww. Hello, Saitama. I, ho I'm, I hope you're enjoying the fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. <clears throat> okay. Yuffie, with slight swirls in her eyes, because that's what anime, anime back swirls. then it looked like, um, soon came back to Gaia. It, I guess it was Gaia now. <laughs> and quickly jumped to her feet, obviously embarrassed. She immediately crossed her arms and tried to play, play it off as if she hadn't just fallen face first off the chair. A blatant tint of red on her cheeks. What are you laughing at? It's funny because they're on an airship. So they're not on the ground. On Earth. She came back to Gaia as in the Earth. But, but she they're did... not on Earth. They're not on they're Earth. They're in the airship. Hey, <laughs> at the ninja's attempt to... Re oh, wait, this is you. At the ninja's attempt to regain her pride, Jessie couldn't help but laugh harder. Arms wrapping around her... Own mid her own midsection, because <laughs> that one is possible to wrap her arms around Yuffie's Well, I, yeah, I was looking at that like, she did what? That just meant. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Her own midsection. You gotta be clear, uh, clear yeah, with that yeah. part. Uh, in an attempt to calm herself down, the irony of it all was just so sweet. What, what's, what's the irony? I guess you're about to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me. I need to know. What is irony? The I public don't... need to know. <laughs> me as an uneducated reader. I don't know what irony is. <laughs> me as an uneducated reader. Oh my gosh. I must have thought that the reader didn't know anything. What does it know what irony means? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Keep going. Here was Yuffie Kisaragi, a hero of this world and a high class boots. Utayan, Utayan ninja, uh -huh. right? Utayan ninja, struggling to maintain her image as such. Jessie had had to allow the stereotypes of slideshow in her mind how ninjas are so, supposed to be stealthy and skilled, balanced and suave. 
how heroes are supposed to be completely capable and valiant. Yet, here is Yuffie. Despite knowing of the girl's fame and skills, she realized she was still human. Meaning that, despite the fame and skills, she could still make mistakes and learn from them as Jessie did. Hmm, that Humanizing thought, a, a hero, I guess. I like that. <clears throat> that thought and this newer, more realistic image of Yuffie brought a smile to Jessie's lips. And the technician couldn't help but find it unbelievably, ironically, cute. Aww. <laughs> <sighs> Irony life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Welcome to the Irony Lions. Mm. Oh my god. You ever just like think how someone is so ironically, Unbelievably like, ironically, ironically cute? cute. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. I think you're cute, but an ironic. <laughs> <laughs> kind of see it it's like wait that was ironic yeah That's it makes sense i guess you wouldn't expect her to be cute because she's just like it's high class ninja <laughs> wow you feel learned a lot after falling from that chair first the whole adventure she was like <laughs> it's not that you feel learned a lot yeah. jesse learned a lot Jessie about you like... from her falling down yeah, yeah. yeah. Yuffie sat back in the chair arms crossed as she waited for jesse to stop laughing before i make her stop laughing she had an annoyed pout on her face uh, obviously still being laughed at it wasn't that funny, she said, rolling her eyes. Jessie calmed her laughter, do laughter down to a little giggle, taking a deep breath to fully quench the humor. She, she was laughing as hard as we were laughing earlier. <laughs> I, can, I can picture that. Yeah. I can relate. She figured she had humiliated the ninja long enough. So smiling gently, gently at the red ninja, she decided to give her a little break. Don't worry, we're not taking off until Tifa and Elena are up. Oh, so I guess they're on the ground now. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. still on the ground. Mm -hmm. They've been on the ground. Oh, okay, okay. A look of relief came upon y Yuffie's countenance. And <laughs> she nodded. <laughs> Not face. Good. Then a little grin <laughs> from appeared. From her grinning mouth. <laughs> <laughs> a little grin from when she was grinning before. <laughs> appeared on Jessie's face again. And I won't tell anyone about that. Yuffie's eyes widened microscopically. <laughs> And her body hurts a little, but she quickly hit it. About what? She sweat dropped. <laughs> she fucking sweat <laughs> dropped a bit. It's not a bit. A bit. A bit. <laughs> That's such an anime oh sentence right god. there. Oh my god. This is a 2006 sentence. Oh my god. <laughs> Enforced and nervous uh. sounding laughed. <laughs> I had no idea what you're talking about. Jessie watched her with a smirk on her lips. Uh huh. Who would have thought the great Yuffie Kisaragi could be so entertaining? All right, and now is the next song. Pause this. Mm. Holding thoughts in my heart. Loop. Ah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Even when an airship wasn't in motion, there will forever be a breeze surrounding it, beckoning it to take flight once again. Mm. Sure. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> she was wet dropped a bit some. <laughs> okay, here's you. Elena had I'm spent- I'm gonna lower this a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Elena had spent much of her life alone. However, all of those times were filled with thoughts of solitude and revenge. Never did she have the time to think solely upon herself, nor did she ever allow her senses to embrace the phenomenon of this world such as the breeze blowing through her blonde hair. Although she didn't have much time for either of those things, she couldn't allow herself a moment in this piece. She could allow her. She could allow herself, important mm -hmm. She could allow herself a moment in this piece, sitting on top of this motionless jet with the wind enveloping her. And for a quick minute in time, she felt completely in peace. Actually, only in these past few days has she really allowed herself to reflect on her own emotions and her past. She hadn't taken it into much accord before. Everything seemed so set out for her that she just had to do what she was told and everything would turn out right. Now, Sorry about Daigo. Yeah. <laughs> now all these doors were opening up. New doors. Mm. Now all these new <laughs> doors were opening up, giving her the chance to choose her own path and make it her own. And it was all thanks to Tifa. I think... It's still, it's still oh, Elena. Okay. She's still reflecting. I got it. Tifa was the one who opened those doors and is now taking her by the hand, urging her on. The brunette had always been there for her when she was uncertain or afraid. 
She was always there to restore her confidence and allow her a moment of weakness to rely on someone else for a change. And... Uh, boom. Okay, so the change is song here. Mm -hmm. uh, they're both chosen by the planet. Boom. Oh. Whoa. Boom. Elena brought her hands to her head, repressing the pounding in her brain. Her whole body tensed as she struggled to stay conscious. Millions of da, jolts. Da. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so ominous. Yeah. Millions of jolts were coursing through her body, branching out from her brain to her neck to her limbs and striking at her heart, making her breathing shout. It was Shinra Inc. She was in the building, being restrained in one of the hallways which she had walked down millions of times before. Another memory of Soldier? She felt a stream of sweat slide from her temple to her jawline. Her senses fired up, allowing her to feel every single existence around her, experiencing the memories in horrendously vivid details. She curled into a helpless ball, feeling like a fragile child. She hugged her legs to her own chest. Yeah. Your own is fine here. <laughs> she can't, to well, I don't know if she can hug her chest. legs to someone else's <laughs> chest. <laughs> I, I guess not, but no worries. Uh, that powerless, restraining feeling surrounded Elena as she stared at nothing but the figure in front of her. The only sensation that coursed through her was this numb feeling of betrayal. Because of, all, because of that, all other senses seemed merely secondary compared to that pain that was stabbing at her heart. No. Tifa stood in front of her. Oh, Tifa stood in front of her, arms crossed with a scornful look on her face. Take her away. Then she felt numb, numb with fear and confusion. It was definitely in Shinra HQ, and Tifa was there but there was something heart-wrenching about the memory. Rather than the usual warm, welcoming feeling her chest would feel when she thought about Tifa, despite the ache in her brain, it felt painful throughout her whole body this time. It was definitely something she'd rather not remember. Stop it, stop thinking about it, Elena. You don't want anything to ruin what you have now, she thought to herself stubbornly. She'd rather be ignorant of that truth, even though she knew deep down, deep down inside, that she wouldn't ignore it. The dull ache soon subsided, and Elena had curled her legs to her chest, feeling violated by the memory. Tifa. She couldn't even clearly recall the situation, but she knew it was painful to remember, even physically, either physically or emotionally. Maybe it was during the tests? Maybe I was going rampant as a side effect from one of the injections? She asked herself. Her mind racked for answers, anything to prove that that image wasn't true, anything to restore her trust and confidence completely, rather than have this doubt and worry dwell in the back of her mind. Or maybe it has to do when she was separated from Tifa. But why would Tifa have that hateful look on her face? Elena didn't know. She simply couldn't remember. That music ended so perfectly with how long it took you to read wow, that. Wow, right shit. on time. Holy shit. The song was exactly <laughs> three minutes and 15 seconds. Good selection. And you read it with that much time. Holy <laughs> shit, that was so good. Oh, thank you. It's going. I was... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I okay. planned that. You sure. did. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. uh, next one. <laughs> on the other side of the mountain. Oh, this one's happening. Din, 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 din. Okay. So, why don't you wear your glasses? Yuffie inquired, curious about this stranger. If they were going to do some kind of mission as a team, she figured they should. she should get to know her teammates a little bit better. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Mm. But yeah, no, that part was so good. Just saying that, like, uh, you read it with, like, the best. It was really uh, good. I was so you. happy with how that went. <laughs> That was some great atmosphere, music, and timing. The timing was all good! <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. glad I didn't, like, interrupt you at any point, too. I was like, okay, I just wanted to read this whole part, like, all in one go. And I thought that, like, there wasn't anything, like, cringy right, written in there, you know? It was pretty all good. actually pretty good. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Good job, Tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Thank you. Okay, here you go. Mm -hmm. Jesse. Mm -hmm. Jesse looked from the screen to Yuffie, then back to the screen. Uh, uh, mm. I usually wear contact lenses. She wasn't up for this conversation very much. 
She used to always get teased about her glasses when she was younger by Biggs and Wedge, which made her switch to contacts. She would only wear her glasses in private when no one else could see her because whenever someone commented about her glasses, she was reminded of her fallen comrades. A younger... I guess this is a lot of you reading, sorry. It's okay, <laughs> I don't mind. I just, okay, good. As long as you No, are. I'm totally fine. This is great. Okay, I, great, I, I'm great, really great, happy with great. how this is going. I'm happy too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A younger, skinnier, and paler Jessie sat in front of a console with an unnecessarily large screen. There is nothing extraordinary about her appearance. There's no flashy makeup or hairstyle which caused her to stand out. She was just an average looking girl. Or some could possibly see her as a stereotypical shy girl with glasses. Outwardly, one wouldn't see the sensitivity below the skin, or the spunk that could arise from provocation, or the intelligence and knowledge behind her years within her mind. Outwardly, she was just a plain old teenager named Jessie. Yuffie spun around on the co-captain's chair childishly a few times, and then she sat backwards on the chair, leaning against the backrest with her chin on her arms. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't see it, but yeah. Yeah. Just, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. Uh, do I have. Like, sort of like, like that. that. <laughs> you have your arms more up. Up, your head. I, but it's by your chin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, why? You think they make you look like a geek? Geek. <laughs> nerd. Yumi's like, you play Pokemon. What a nerd. Nerd. <laughs> She asked, not meaning any kind of malice. The ninja uh -huh. was merely curious. Oh, so she would have said it more like, uh, why? You think they make you look like a geek? Rather than, <laughs> why? <laughs> geek. geek. <laughs> projecting some more teen Yuma. Oh, of course. This whole fan fiction is projected. This I is all that. what was in my own mind. <laughs> not in someone else's mind. Um... The ninja was merely curious, but if she just happened to have a teasing, a bit of a teasing ring to her voice, it wasn't her fault. So she was teasing? Or? She, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want it to be. Sure, she wasn't much for appearances because she didn't think it was important. The people who mattered, really, were the ones who didn't look skin deep. The people who mattered didn't really care about her appearance. However, it seemed that the people who mattered simply didn't exist then. Oof. Ouch. Sorry. Pro projecting Team Yuma. <laughs> no one could really see her for the person she was. They could only see her for the person she appeared to be. Mm. That is teen angst right there. <laughs> very angst. Jessie grit her teeth a little behind her closed lips and shot a little glare at Yuffie for a split second, but soon reverted back to her nonchalant work on the screen in front of her. I just don't like them, okay? Jessie spat. Oh, I just don't like them, okay? Yeah, that's good. Jessie <clears throat> spat, slightly annoyed by the path this conversation was treading. Maybe that's why she didn't initially like Biggs. Or Wedge, for that matter. First impressions are always only skin deep. Mm -hmm. And Biggs <laughs> had this tendency to wear his emotions on his sleeve. And, of course, he spoke the first thoughts that would come to his mind without thinking. While Wedge, on the other hand, didn't seem to have a backbone at all. She was amazed at the fact that they could be best friends with each other when they were such polar opposites. So I always thought, well, not always, but when I played the remake, I mm -hmm. thought Biggs looked like a young Charlie Sheen. <laughs> 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 I'm going to show you a picture of Biggs. Uh -huh. um, Final Fantasy VII remake. Uh, images. <laughs> Look at this young Charlie Sheen. <laughs> oh my god. Right? Look yeah. at this young Charlie Sheen. <laughs> it's something about the face. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. This news thing, why Big's gotta say like it's a new invention he's never seen before. Uh we aren't there yet. Don't oh, we're not there, there yet. There You're yet. reading ahead. <laughs> uh okay. Uh, uh, polar opposites polar. here. Uh, do you want to be Biggs? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Four Eyes, check out this news thing. Biggs would say. Of course, he'd never mean it. It was always just a joke to him, but he never knew the kind of impact his words could have at the time. It wasn't until Jesse started getting more comfortable with him and started insulting him back that they really started to get along. Quit calling me Four Eyes, you soldier reject. She yelled back, hints of laughter in her voice. Wedge was a different case, however. He 
was probably as shy and unsure about himself as Jesse had originally been. He was the sidekick, the one who willingly went along with whatever the rest of the group wanted to do. I can relate to that. <laughs> Aww. Are you my sidekick? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> the supportive friend in the I feel the like anime. we're both each other's biggest fans. <laughs> I think so. I would like to think that I'm a huge fan of... I'm a huge fan of Nitori. I'm a huge fan of Yuma Yuma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the one who willingly went along with whatever the rest of the group wanted to do. The first time he ever spoke for himself, really. It was when he decided he had enough of Biggs teasing everyone, even if it was all in good fun. Uh, you, you shouldn't call her Four Eyes. <laughs> I don't know, that was my... He'd stutter aloud, playing with an idle object in his hands. You might hurt her feelings. <laughs> Aww. Wedge was such a gentleman. Aww. <laughs> <clears throat> so sweet. She quickly learned to love the two of them as her own family, as well as Barrett and Tifa, but those two were a different story. Tifa was like her mentor, and Barrett was like the uncle or older brother she never had. Biggs and Wedge, they were more like equals to her. She didn't think herself, she didn't think of herself as anything more or less than them. All right, so maybe in the beginning her feelings were kind of hurt by the teasing. Not only that, but she did, simply didn't like the glasses themselves. They're always sitting on her nose, always getting foggy when it was humid or extra polluted outside. They were just a bother. Uh, Did you have glasses back then? I didn't have to wear them daily. I have to wear them daily now. So, oh. um, but I didn't. I did have glasses, but I didn't um, wear them often. Uh, so you're like, I know what glasses are like. But yeah. I don't have them. <laughs> yeah, but I. You didn't, think they I were annoying? <laughs> I I thought they were super annoying. I still think glasses are super annoying. <laughs> Sometimes it'll like fog up. <laughs> yeah, like, especially when it's humid or extra polluted outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, well, it doesn't feel <laughs> humid today. It must be extra polluted. It must be extra polluted. <laughs> and yeah, my, my glasses are just getting so foggy because it's so polluted today. Says the person from Vancouver where there's like zero pollution. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, the short haired oh, so, oh, well, as you. Oh. Yeah. The short haired girl was a little caught off, a uh, caught, a little caught by the other's sudden annoyance. So she tried to recover herself. Whoa! I didn't mean they looked bad! She grinned in the yuffie way she did, a little toothy, but seemingly only on one side of her face. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. I like them, the ninja simply stated, tilting her head to one side as she analyzed the girl's face. Hmm, they make you look cute. Aww, no. is this the Yuffie Jesse shit? It is the Yuffie Jesse ah. shit. Uh huh. Um, that's you. After getting sick of all Big's teasing, though, she finally managed to get her own contact lenses. Finally, she had gotten that monkey off her back and. Wait a second. Did she just say what I think she said? Did Yuffie just say the glasses were cute? <laughs> <laughs> now it was Jesse's turn to be caught off guard. She was snapped out of her memories and pulled back into the present by that comment. Never has anyone ever told her that she looked good in her glasses, let alone cute. A blush tinted her cheeks and she started to work a little more frantically on the hacker. She's just like exploded with typing afterwards. Because you know, and a person who flies a airship or a plane has to be a good programmer. Hello, Succubus. Something attracted me here. Ooh, I'm glad you were attracted here. Welcome Ooh. to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Or when you wear a mask. Uh, I don't like glasses. It's coarse and it gets <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, Frantically on a computer trying to... Trying to avoid further embarrassment. Uh-huh. Don't flatter me. She said with deepening color on her cheeks. I'm not flattering you, Yuffie said, pulling out a mirror from a pouch that was attached to her thighs because she has a mirror. 
<laughs> she has a mirror. A mirror. Sure. <laughs> okay, so the way I justified this in my head, I don't know if it, if I write mm-hmm. this later on, but the mirror in my head was so that she could look around corners without um, needing to like oh, look cool. around corners. You I know? imagine like a little compact. That's yeah, like, a little you know, compact. You flip it mirror. open with makeup and stuff. Like yeah, that. yeah, it's like yeah, she yeah. could do her makeup. I don't know because she wears makeup, but <laughs> she always wears makeup. <laughs> Apparently, when she's doing ninja, ninja things, she's gotta put a little bit of a powder yeah, on. and she's like markers drawn guy's face oh yeah <laughs> but yeah you gotta have a little and then it's a compact and a little mirror oh she but she thinks i'm cute <laughs> <laughs> bahamut <laughs> <laughs> if you're enjoying this cringy yet well burned fan you should subscribe to get yuma to read more that is yeah, true more chapters will be unlocked the more you oh subscribe. yeah it is a, it's like a quest list it's a combined <laughs> cat girl quest yeah <sighs> wait i'm a cat girl <laughs> Girl this quest is a cat list. girl quest. <laughs> Ever since I met that cat girl, my, my quest, quest just list got longer. Got, yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'm not flattering you, Yuffie said, pulling out a mirror from her pouch that was attached to her thighs. She only had those pouches because she needed somewhere to keep her throwing objects, and also because her shorts didn't have very spacious pockets. So, why does Yuffie Kisaragi have a mirror on hand? Please tell me. Yuma. Well, <laughs> when <Please> you're. <laughs> <ask> you. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're as conceited and proud as the great as Yuffie Kisaragi, the greatest ninja in the world is, you need to keep up appearances. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, I, she probably used it for looking around corners and, and also for to makeup. Has makeup and skin. Yeah. 3K for more chapters. Uh, it would be tw- 2.5, right? 2.5, 2.5 for 5. another two chapters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get your glasses on. Yuffie demanded lightheartedly, sticking her own head into the space between the technician and the screen, obstructing her line of vision. I was like, wait, where is this going? Where is this going? Sticking her own head, and first of all, own, but okay, for sure. Uh-huh. Um, between the technician, what? And what? His <laughs> legs? <laughs> okay. Jesse stared at the ninja in front of her with owl-like eyes. As opposed to sharp eyes. <laughs> <laughs> How many subs do we need for Yuma to write more chapters? 5K. Ooh. Or, well, however when many I'm done. It, it takes us to like finish, to reading, finish all reading it. These, yeah. Which might be 5K. It might be 5K. It might be 5K. We haven't done the math. Yeah. But, um, whenever we finish reading, maybe. <laughs> maybe you can incentivize me to write more. Yeah. yeah I would be. That would be super cool. <laughs> that would be fun. Hey, marketing head doesn't discriminate for the stream. <laughs> okay. Uh, here. Jessie stared at the ninja in front of her with owl-like eyes, blinking a few times. She was slightly stunned by how forward this girl was. The brown-haired technician thought to herself, I don't think I've ever met anyone like her. Whether that was a compliment or an insult depends on how you look at it. How you interpret it, reader. <laughs> you, the reader. You, the reader. That is an exercise left to the reader. Only you can stop forest fires in her pants. <laughs> Jessie finally complied, reaching to her pocket to grab the case for her glasses. But they weren't there anymore. You were taking too long, Yuffie stated impatiently, opening the case and pulling out the glasses. Pulling out the glasses and putting them onto the other girl's face. Aww. Again, Jessie was shocked by the suddenness of the situation. When did she take her glasses? H- how did she do that? She thought numbly. Normally, she would be peacefully working on her computer, but her peaceful little world suddenly became invaded by something so surprising and unexpected. This was the effect of Yuffie, an unlimited ball of energy and vitality. Yuffie held the mirror in front of the girl's face with a cat-like grin on her own visage. (laughs) (laughs) On her own visage. Uh See, you look great. Jessie took a look at herself in the mirror and saw the glasses sitting clumsily on her face. Having someone else put glasses on her would never never make the spectacle sit right. She just turned red again, removing her glasses and shaking her head. Embarrassed laughter coming from her lips as she put them Onto the console in front of her. You know what? I should make it 10K. <laughs> 10K <laughs> followers on, on Are, YouTube. Subs and on will, YouTube? Yeah, 10K subs on YouTube. And I will read my... I, I will write more. Mm, I will write you know, more that's going to come sooner than you think. Nah. <laughs> it probably will. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Took this long to get 2K. It's true. Mm. But someday. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> You're full of it. She said with a light air about her and a tint of pink still licking on her cheeks. 
Even if she herself didn't think the glasses looked good on her, it was always nice to receive a compliment once in a while. The people who mattered, really, were the ones who didn't look skin deep. The people who mattered didn't really care about her appearance. Jesse just found one of the few people who actually mattered. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, what's this next uh, song? The next song is uh, On That Day Five Years Ago. Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh, suddenly got uh, kind of dramatic. Serious, yeah. Yeah. It's the memories song. You will get to experience the memories. You know, you should play Final Fantasy VII with me. <laughs> <laughs> sure. we, we should just, you know, it's a bump up the limit. That's not very prideful of an action. Hmm. I think it's a very prideful action. <laughs> I am too proud to read to write it at 5K. Oh my god. 8K dummy counts coming right up. <laughs> <laughs> Tifa didn't want to get up. Plain and simple, she just wanted to stay in bed and sleep more. That's a mood. Mm. <laughs> when she'd opened her eyes to be greeted by the morning, she stared at the empty space beside her on the bed. Tifa assumed she'd see the blonde there beside her, sleeping in her arms as she had for so many nights all those years ago. However, the blonde was missing. Perhaps she had already woken up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why wouldn't? Oh God, Tifa, you're so full of comedy. <laughs> or perhaps last night was all just a dream. Uh, I will make it happen. I also know about it in the importance of you, something to Yuma's YouTube channel to get her to read her, read and write her. Read and finish writing her old cringy yeah, well written fanfic. Yeah. I don't know if I could call this well written anymore, but yes, I agree. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. I'm glad. I think it's given me way more laughter than I thought it would. <laughs> then uh, younger you probably would have thought it. Oh, <laughs> younger me would have been so sad Aww. that we're laughing at old at, at this. The whole thing. <laughs> we just need a Yuma video to go viral. I guess I have 20k followers on TikTok, but that's right. We just move those followers to Twitch yeah. or to YouTube. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> we'll get there. Exactly. Um, Tifa brought her fingers to her lips and shut her eyes, remembering the soft feel, feel, <laughs> soft feel, feel feeling, feeling. <laughs> You're doing your best. I was doing my best. I thought this was really good at the time. I it's okay. I think it's a premise. I think is it's good. still pretty good. Mm. Google's how to make a viral video. Nice. Thanks. Let me know what you learn. <laughs> <laughs> we would all love to learn the answer. The soft feel of Elena's lips against hers. That couldn't have been a dream. Let me re loop this because I keep talking. Mm. Mm -hmm. Unless the memories she regained were so vivid that even the sensations reached her in her dreams. Fighting against her wish to stay in bed and not let the future come reeling its ugly head her way. Also a mood. Mm -hmm. um, she sat up supporting herself one of her hands behind her with with, with one yeah. of her hands behind her <laughs> the other hand buried itself in her hair glancing around her habitual area for her alarm clock finding none she realized this wasn't her room <laughs> 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 all right so most of this is reality then uh, okay mm -hmm. sure. post diego videos on youtube i mean maybe <clears throat> <clears throat> there was no sunlight to filter through the blinds of her room there was no sweet aroma of marlene cooking breakfast for denzel and the little girl herself Tifa took a moment to wonder how much could happen in, in a, one day, where her whole life would change from that peaceful morning of trivial matters and careless stepping on Chocobo Knight's action figures, to this feeling of dread, homesickness, and her life being turned around almost completely. Did all that happen in the just day a before? Day? Like everything from chapter one? No, no. Chapter, chapter three, four, whenever four, that like, uh, five. flashback happened. Yes! Yes, chapter three. Oh my Cha god! Chapter three that's crazy. to chapter nine was all one day. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> By the way, this isn't a bad fanfic at all. Mainly for someone so young. I yeah, I was really young back then. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the angst. See? <laughs> in one week it'll be my birthday. Oh, hello! Oh. Happy birthday in a week. Happy birthday! Yay! Uh, the contrast Tifa felt between this morning and the previous morning was immense. Yeah. Right. It's Just been <laughs> how many? Like. <laughs> Six months for us to read three chapters. Six months for one day to pass. Yeah. Okay. It was all sinking in now. The morning before, she had everything. She had a wonderful job that she enjoyed. Employees she had fun working with. Two wonderful kids to take care of. Her cozy home above the bar. And now, 
After operating completely on instinct the night before, it was all registering. Tifa had lost everything. But in another way, she had gained so much as well. She regained some of her memories of a time she didn't recall. Her soldier experience and how evil Shinra really was to her and Elena. She had Elena now, both of them slowly remembering the time they spent together and the love they shared. She was reunited with Jesse, mm. someone she thought was dead and only and one of the only people in the world to be like a younger sister to the brunette. And of course, from her memories of Avalanche, she was reunited with Yuffie, one of the most skilled and willing people to help and support her in this time of need. With all of them together, she knew that this mission would succeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> Tifa's past had caught up to her and reeled its ugly head her way. So that's the contrast with she she reeled her she didn't want to let the future come reeling its ugly head her way but oh. she let the past come up catch up to her and reel its ugly head ah, her way I see. Mm -hmm. she idly wondered if the if fate was testing her if observing her limits and breaking points to see where she would snap see what variables changed how tifa reacted and lived well you know what she turned her body and planted her feet firmly onto the cold floor, reaffirming, reaffirmation burn, burning in her eyes. The fighter was going to take whatever that entity dished out at her and come back fighting. She, wasn't, she was going to get through this and protect the people she loved, even if that meant fighting against the Aeons, Aeons themselves, so be it. Tifa stared fate right into the eyes and with a determined look she whispered, Bring it on. Whoa. Whoa. So cool. <laughs> okay, God, aren't they up, up yet? Okay, pause. Uh, this one, loop. <laughs> okay. God, aren't they up yet? Yuffie complained, hanging off the top of the console in front of Jesse. <laughs> So like Yuffie's just everywhere. She's like lying, she's like, sitting on the on the machines. She's like in the chair, falling off her chair. You know, messing with Jesse's glasses. She's just like she's like a little monkey. Yeah, she is a monkey. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly that's accurate. Monk. She's a little red panda. <laughs> uh, not unlike another familiar red panda. Mm, no, you know. <laughs> How long was it between writing chapter three and chapter nine? Uh, let me see. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, chapter three, that's not real. Oh, I edited again, I remember. Uh, I think chapter three was posted in But it has to be before that one. Because I know chapters mm. uh, one and four were written like in the span of like four days. Ah. Uh, so chapter, so. so that must have been in 2004. Mm -hmm. And this, and chapter nine was written in 2007. Right. Yeah. Whoa. So, it's taking you long, yeah. longer to... Right, right. right. Then yeah. supposed to read it. <laughs> God, <laughs> badass Tifa. What do you call a monkey who likes VTubers so too much? Um, uh, Simian, Simpian, Simpian. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what I would call it. A Simpian. <laughs> you be party and bullshit and party <laughs> and bullshit. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, uh, hanging off the top of the console, much of the technician's dismay, looking like a lazy cat during a summer's day. Ah, huh, so she's a cat. She is a cat. She's a cat and a red panda and, and, a, and a monkey. And a monkey. <laughs> um, waiting was so draining for the ninja. They have this music so loud in my ears. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, even though it should be quite the opposite, since she was, in fact, a ninja. Um, it's already... She glanced out the large windshield. Like, three o'clock! <laughs> <laughs> Simpanzi. <laughs> ah. I see it. Uh, Jessie glanced up from her work of reconfiguring the engine output. Sure. From <laughs> super awesomely fast to only slightly awesomely fast. That, that's the technical term, right? technical term, right? term yeah. <laughs> As we say in the, uh... Aero, in the aerodynamics aerospace the engineering words. field. <laughs> yes, aerophysics. Uh huh. Uh huh. As Yuffie put it. Oh, as you. Oh, as you, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And asked, "How did you know that?" She didn't see any clocks nearby except her own watch, and taking a look at Yuffie's wrists showed that she didn't have any watches either. Because <laughs> you wear more than one watch. <laughs> watches. Jeez, <laughs> uh, you're a pilot and you don't even know how to read the sun. 
Yuffie gl- looked at Jesse with an arched eyebrow, but only got a confused look in return. Someone's got no survival skills, the ninja thought to herself. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I can't read the sun. <laughs> Apparently, I thought I could. <laughs> The short-haired girl sat on top of the console, crossing her legs in a meditative pose, and said in a mock, calming voice, Allow Guru Yuffie to show you the ways, young one. Did you know how to read the sun when you were younger? I, this is me making up how to read the sun. <laughs> this is 100% me making it up. Um, um. Then she grinned and pulled out a permanent marker from her little pouch of tricks. Why, the great Yuffie Kisaragi needed a permanent marker? Well, you should already know that. Why? Because she Why? drew on those guys' faces. Oh. She's Jigglypuff. I'm like, this is the one thing that Yuma, oh, young Yuma doesn't <laughs> tell us. <laughs> Why did she need permanent I markers? I don't know. Yeah. I'm an uneducated reader. <laughs> <don't remember. laughs> she moved towards the edge of the windshield, marking where the horizon would be. Because that's standard because it's always in the same spot <laughs> when you're in an airplane <laughs> you just have a big windshield <laughs> when you this read is the me <laughs> not knowing how airplanes work <laughs> oh my uh, god oh um, uh-huh. Uh, she moved towards the other way. Okay, then she marked all the angles for each respective hour. And also, where are you sitting when you read the time on your windshield? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How are you the same height? Like I didn't know anything. Well, like to mark the angles of the sun, you'd have to go like up. Yeah, I was like, oh, clearly a sundial like works this way. So what uh, if like, like in my head, that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, they could just make a like modern day sundial. Of course, the yeah. sun rises and sets on the same uh, horizon. Yeah, horizon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah see? Yeah. D- it doesn't matter where you're Thank looking. You. <laughs> Aren't you facing the <clears throat> same direction? <laughs> yeah, she's always <laughs> flying in the same direction. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, hey, Jesse. Pass me a tissue, please. Sure. I'm getting a nosebleed. Oh, no. It's too warm. Uh, so I don't know if chat knows break. about this. Nah, it's fine. Okay. I can just stuff a, just stuff a sure. tissue in my nose. <laughs> I don't know if chat knows about this, but I frequently get nosebleeds, Aww. and it's not because I'm a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> like an eerie manga or something. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, sometimes in this. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I gotta go. I Are so. you worried about my nosebleed? It's missing up with my uh, facial recognition, though. Aww. It's like, which part of your face is I'm too it? embarrassed, and so the embarrassment is being translated into a nosebleed. Nose, aww. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Hey! Jessie stood from her seat with white eyes. What are you doing? She stared at her baby. Her life's work was... She stared at her baby. Her life's work was being drawn on with this ninja's graffiti. I need that... I kind of need that windshield to... Oh, you know, see? The, bi- the pilot barked sarcastically. A few little black dots won't kill you, Yuffie said, hopping to get to the glass on the roof. All done. Um, then she ran to her original dot and drew a chibi sketch of herself with a V with her fingers. Aw, she's an artist. Uh-huh. <laughs> a grin was plastered on the live ninja's face i guess the the, the real non, one the non-chibi non-chibi drawn with a yeah. marker on the windshield yeah with that was extremely similar to the one she had just drawn ah i see notorious to close oh that part's unrelated yeah the nosebleed is unrelated <laughs> although <It's all> planned. <laughs> <clears throat> hang on let me adjust uh the chat's uh, box size here there. uh here this is you oh. Jessie sat back down and massaged the bridge of her own nose. As opposed to... <laughs> <laughs> I should just find and replace all own oh, with just, just delete. Just delete all the owns. Find and delete all the owns. Beginning to get a headache from all the work she's been doing. Or maybe it was the fact that Yuffie just committed vandalism in her life's work that gave her such a migraine. Either way, she'll probably just wash it off or force Yuffie to do so. Hmm... There, now when you look out the windshield, you're, if you're facing the east, these dots will tell you what time it is in the morning, Yuffie oh. said, then spun around on her heel, and that cat-like grin still on her features. And if the sun is going to the west, you'll know what time it is in the afternoon. It works the same way backwards. You just have to turn the jet west. You just have to turn the entire thing. Yeah, basically. you just have to turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<clears throat> Jesse had to admit that was actually pretty useful. Wow. She never even considered telling time without her watch. Thanks. No problemo. Oh my god. Okay. Yuffie smiled with satisfaction, regaining some of her lost energy. Now stop working and help me wake those two lazy bums. Yuffie said, leaning against the console, looking over to Jessie with her head tilted back. Do you need to take a break? Or... Uh, I think after this chapter, I'll just stop. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, Jessie reluctantly looked at her work. She had finished all of her reconfiguring. But now... Oh, yeah. no worries. but now she had to record the data and update the server... Well, she could do that later. She won't forget the data since she could practically recite the whole log to heart, you know, because you just memorize, <laughs> memorize the entire your code. <laughs> <clears throat> and the outdated server will still be outdated and upgradable when she returns. That's not a word. Upgradable. I think upgradable. Upgradable? Upgradable? Yeah, I, I think that yeah. counts as a word, yeah. You mean you need a break? Just turn the jet somewhere to have brunettes get their first <laughs> uh, I probably need a break after this, but it seems to have stopped bleeding. Or it's like just uh, redirect your jet. Yeah. <laughs> she put the console to sleep and stood from her chair. Sure, let's go. All right, let's see. Mark of a traitor uh, here. Mark of a traitor. Mm. Ooh. 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 Okay. Sus. Sus. It's sus music. Yeah. <laughs> Suspenseful. Is uh -huh. I'm Suspenseful. In her mind, wait, who's this? Uh, Jesse. Jesse. Okay. Go. In her mind, questions were always afloat. Always a critical thinker, and ever the analyst. Jesse's brain constantly had questions. Questions left unanswered. Questions with answers that sprout more questions. Questions which could never be answered. She never voiced these questions. Always. <laughs> what are these questions? I have I questions know. about these questions. I have questions, but I'm never gonna ask them. Always, Jessie was the kind to keep to herself and handle her own problems, never burdening others with matters of her own or matters which she knew could be solved through reason. Even now, as she walked down this silver-lined corridor, which she herself had engineered, mm -hmm. questions came one after the other. This odd yet compelling ninja, where did she come from? The logical answer to that would be Wu Tai, wouldn't it? Why, isn't she, why is not she here? To help Tifa, right? Why does she want to wake the others so badly? Probably because she has the patience of a boar. What made her leave the life that she lived to pursue a life like this? Hmm. She never said, did she? Why does she continue to move while pulling me along for the ride, even if I'm the complete and total opposite of her? I don't know. This is like, what, a few hours after they met? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why is she... Why she say she loved me, even though we just met <laughs> This is totally teenage Yuma <laughs> wishing that you could have love at first sight. Aww. Yeah. Love at first act. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How has she lured me in so quickly? No, no. It can't be like that. Well, <laughs> well, maybe. Well, Probably. Maybe. I'm kind of gay, so... <laughs> There, I like how everyone is just unspokenly gay. That's how normal it is in this world. Yes! Mm -hmm. This is great. In my brain. Yeah, that's how <laughs> Yeah, young Yuma had, was thinking ahead. Was gay mind, yep. Mm -hmm. Jessie looked over to the ninja. Both of the girl's hands locked behind her head as she bounced cheerfully down the corridor beside the technician. She was blabbing away about something completely pointless and unrelated. Jessie couldn't concentrate enough to listen, but she was still attentive in another way. She observed this girl as if she were a Rubik's cube, searching for an answer that led her, that just led her to more questions. Because that existed there, right? Like, yes, yeah. yeah. Hello, Sugar Daddy. How are you? You know, Rubik fantasy. Yeah. Speaking of Jesus, fa fantasy Rubik. Yeah. Lady Cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yuffie was so carefree, but was it all just a mask? A facade to fool those who tried to analyze her? 
Perhaps it was just a ploy of trickery, so she'd be harder to figure out. This brunette was certainly one for solving riddles and difficult puzzles, after all. But what was a riddle without any clues? Hey, Jessie interjected, interrupting the girl in the middle of her sentence about one of her adventures at attempting to tame a chocobo. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah, 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 that sounds right. I never asked you, but why are you here? Jessie knew the question was rude, perhaps insulting or hurtful. Asking someone why they're here, it's like giving them a hint that you want them to go away. Jessie knew that for a fact, though. Knew for a fact, though, that this girl wouldn't simply run from an insult. Teen you McClellan Sephiroth? Nah, nah, Tifa and Elena. Yeah, yeah. good stuff. <laughs> and the, res the response to your coming in? Yeah, we know. <laughs> Actually, I did come out to a whole bunch of people at once. Um, hmm. It was like during my... Um, so in senior year, they had a retreat because retreats are a thing. Retreats are a church thing. Yeah, yeah are <laughs> definitely a Catholic church yeah. thing. Yeah. So uh, I went, they had this like podium where you could like basically talk to everyone. It was like at the end of the senior year. And mm. so it was the like, oh, now you get your chance to say the thing you've always wanted to say to everybody. Was this just seniors? It was, yeah. Or it was your class? It was a senior class. Yeah. Mm. And, um, I basically went up to the podium and I was like, well, here we go. And like, there were a bunch of people like earlier than me, there were people who were like, oh, this person's definitely going to come out as gay. Oh. And, then, and then they're like, no, no one's going to come out as gay. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go up and come out as gay. And then I did. And then mm. people were like, it like opened up a lot of conversations about mm. like people who were apologizing to me for bullying me Aww. and like, um, me telling, like, there were, like, breakout rooms basically afterwards, and I was, like, mm. telling people, like, oh, uh, you know, I quit basketball and pursued kickboxing because um, I felt uncomfortable when people were talking behind my back during basketball, like, that mm. kind of thing. So I like basketball, but, yeah, like, th there was too much bullying at the time for me to want to stay in it. Anyway, Aww. that was a uh, <laughs> big coming out thing. Mm -hmm. I see. It's rough coming out to people who don't, know you like that yeah well, i mean like I, it was a fairly small graduating class mm -hmm. um so like i guess compared to american schools because or well, like public I think, schools i think it was just my school because i know a lot of people who have been in much smaller schools yeah mm -hmm. so it was a pretty small um graduating class so everybody knew everybody by name and had mm. at least interacted with everybody at some point right like especially our schools were um like there's no middle school in vancouver for this catholic school system or something like that so you're like all together since for like five years wow. instead of four years yeah oh yeah i also went to a retreat huh oh there you go Yay. <laughs> you must super chat <laughs> oh there you go <laughs> i definitely never came out to my entire church and I don't think I could imagine. Yeah, so. it was pretty scary, and um, surprisingly, people were really supportive afterwards. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, uh, riddle without clues. Hey, what do you, what do you mean by that? Um, Yuffie asked, stopping in her tracks and arching an eyebrow. She had peeked into Tifa and Elena's room while Jesse was spacing out, and they were both gone. So they're looking for them in other parts of the ship. Yuffie smirked and shook her head as if the answer should have been obvious. I got caught by the cops and bailed out by teeth, and now she needs my help. Duh. She poked at the brunette's forehead. There's no sum there? She didn't poke at it some? <laughs> <laughs> Just once, not, not mm -hmm. some. Indiscriminate number of times. Indiscriminate number of times, yeah. <laughs> Jessie swatted her hand away. That's not what I meant. I know you got caught, but... She put her hands on her hips. Why did you leave Wutai when you had such a comfortable lifestyle? A comfortable lifestyle isn't my style, Yuffie said with a wink. Hmm. hmm. That answer is clear-cut enough, Jessie thought to herself. But there's more to it. No one is that simple. She merely waited for the girl to continue, her scrutinizing eyes searching the short-haired girls. Okay, so... Yuffie crossed her arms, her hands over her chest and leaned against the nearest wall in the corridor facing Jessie. My dad wanted me to get married to some guy, okay? Yuffie rolled her eyes defiantly. You happy now? No. There's more. Jessie remained steadfast, not saying a word but analyzing her further. The way Yuffie shifted uncomfortably against the wall, 
the fact that she was leaning against the wall to support herself and how she crossed her arms to avoid playing with her fingers. Hmm. She's like, she's like Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, <laughs> I like Jesse a lot. She I liked writing Jesse. Mm. She was she didn't have a lot in uh, the game. No, I basically knew her as the smart one who liked explosions. Ah, uh, mm. yes. <laughs> she was good at hiding herself, but not good enough to escape Jesse's trained eyes. I really wanted to give her like a personality, and the fact that she was a character that didn't have much to begin with in the original game, mm -hmm. it was very fun to create this personality for her hmm. yeah i like it it's mm. like you have an almost blank slate exactly the character you always wanted yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. yuffie grimaced under the girl's gaze no one's ever looked at her with such intense eyes before no one's ever taken her seriously enough to stop and try to see her for who she is projecting no one has ever Aww. tried no one <laughs> to see her for who she is forever she'll be considered the annoying little ninja thief and that's how she liked it that's how she was comfortable with this her secrecy was dissolved by this girl's obvious will I'm here because I want to be with Tifa she stated not making eye contact with the girl I don't want to grow up and get married to some guy the ninja unfolded her gloved hands and ran one of them through her short mane of hair Tifa's well Ooh. quadrilateral uh -oh. love quadrilateral <laughs> there's more love triangles than uh, uh -huh. hey drama yeah 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 okay, keep going keep going jesse felt a pain in her chest had she grown attached had she had such a lack of proper companionship for so long that she was being hurt by someone she had only known for less than 24 hours so the answer is she did start to have a crush on her, but she quickly got rejected uh, because she likes someone, like someone else. Jessie asked herself again, repeating the question in her mind. Why is she here? I love her, Yuffie said, finally looking up at the girl, her eyes dead serious. I've loved her for years now. Whoa. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she here? Jessie cringed minutely, her eyes widening momentarily. The words stung in her chest, and her eyes, having never experienced heartache so... Unintentionally? Eyes, like, yeah. how do you feel heartache intentionally? <laughs> like, that's so dumb. Like, uh, I know what she meant, but it's not... It's... Uh, past, past uh, me. Uh, <laughs> She then returned to her own facade. What does as that she, mean? As she, she left, left it. it and then Sharon came back. <laughs> she temporarily went to Yuki's facade, exploited her a little, and then came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, kinda. <laughs> I think I can see that, mm -hmm. but I'm, I don't know if that's it's not, exactly it's not what, how well, it comes no. across. No. Uh, she turned to her own facade, a forced smile hiding her secret unrequited crush. Cringed was a word back then, yes. Yeah. I, and this is how I feel. It means something else. Like, you're like, ugh. Yeah. Grimace, it's a grimace. I think, yeah, mm -hmm. grimace. She's here because... The ninja actually couldn't believe those words she had kept secret to Oh, everyone. here. Oh, that's me. Oh, it's yeah. The ninja actually couldn't believe those words mm -hmm. she had kept secret to everyone except her own conscience had rolled off her tongue so easily to this stranger. This girl whom she didn't know until last night. Why could she confide in her when best friends that she had known for years never even knew of her sexual orientation? Didn't know she was gay. Didn't know she was gay. It felt good to get it off her chest, though. Because she loves Tifa. Jessie gathered herself further, still smiling warmly at the girl. She knew of Tifa's relationship with Elena. So you know in anime when they have that like smile, but it's kind of pained in the. Aww. Yeah, that's what I imagined here. It's <laughs> Jessie. She's smiling with her eyes closed, but it's like ow. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I have to smile. I have to be strong. Yeah, be strong. That, that's exactly <laughs> the be strong anime smile. Mm. She knew of Tifa's relationship with Elena, but she couldn't bring herself to tell Yuffie about it. It would break her heart. She's gotta know eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or maybe there was this hidden shadow dark side of Jessie that would secretly hope for Tifa to break Yuffie's heart so she would be permitted to mend it back together. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> you can't force someone to stop being in love. 
because you can rebound. Oh, no. That's terrible. It is. Once their heart is broken, <laughs> then she would be the only one in the ninja's... No. She couldn't think like that. No, no. She had to play the role she always played. She always had to observe and let things take their natural course. She had to remain impartial and... Oh, Shiva. No, Shiva. <laughs> oh, it's Shiva. Why is oh, it always Shiva? Shiva? What was she thinking? I hope it all turns well for you then, Jessie said with a smile. She meant every word, but in what way she meant it remained a mystery, even to herself. Now the question was, what could she do about it? Ooh. All right, we're in the last song. Yay. Yeah, we're close to the end. Perfect. <laughs> I know this. Yeah, it's the beginning. It's the um tutorial song. <laughs> oh my god, the tutorial is so yeah. long. And the tutorial is so long. <laughs> the dynamic duo ventured to the roof of the jet. Uh, wait, this is you. Ah, the dynamic duo duo ventured onto the roof of the jet. They had checked everywhere inside the jet, but it just crossed Jesse's mind that they might maybe outside of the craft. And what a surprise! There the two of them were, sitting side by side while overlooking the calm land surrounding... Calm. calm. <laughs> <laughs> they appeared to be speaking from the way their heads nodded, but instead of talking directly to each other, it appeared to Jesse that they were staring ahead, not making any eye contact with each other. There they are! <laughs> there you are! It says 2007, Yuma. <laughs> wow! Even back then, there was clam jam. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Yuffie ejected? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is that the word? Why is she ejected? Oh, she like jumped. Oh, ejected from where she was uh, yeah, standing? Yeah, she ejected. She, like, like, projecting was, her voice. It was supposed to, like, exclaim, but it became ejected. <laughs> Exclaim ejected. plus projecting Yeah, yeah, is ejected. ejected. <laughs> <laughs> Bounding gleefully towards the couple and possibly ruining a romantic moment. Yuffie, for the split second before she said anything, suspected a connection between the two and felt uneasy. This was the first time she had seen the ex-Turk in years, but now that she had seen her conversing with Tifa about something other than slicing each other's throats, Yuffie had to admit she was a little jealous. Aw, there's <laughs> so much jealousy going around. Yeah. Jessie stood at the entrance, one hand on her hip with a shake of her head. What an interesting group of women they were. <laughs> I feel like there's a really cringy line later because I really liked one anime. <laughs> And I think I compared the four of them to the characters in that anime. Oh, boy. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in here. Oh. Like, I'm pretty sure I was... Maybe in an author's note, at least. I think it's in the text itself. Oh, no. Yeah. My friends came and I ejected that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I think I feel it coming. Okay. Tifa fell forward slightly, having expected the tackle, but knowing she couldn't do much about it. Ah, the infamous tackle hug. The glove. The glove. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, no, wait, uh, uh, Yuffie tackled Tifa from behind, a mischievous grin on her face as she exclaimed, see, this is exclaimed, this is ejected, this is exclaimed. <laughs> you two lazy asses didn't even greet us good morning. Tifa fell forward slightly, having expected the tackle, but knowing she couldn't do much about it. Hey, I just woke up, okay? She said, peeling the girl off of herself with a bit of a laugh. <laughs> you have to learn how to be patient, you narcissist. <laughs> Yuffie pouted, shot a look between Elena and Tifa, then turned back to Jesse, making her hands into a makeshift megaphone, whispering, Hey, Jess, what's a narcissist? <laughs> Jesse just shook her head more, laughing out loud this time. Elena and Tifa both joined her, leaving Yuffie to be pouty and confused. Jessie was lost in thought, though, reflecting on a story she heard once as a child. Oh, here we go. <laughs> from, oh, oh, my God. Yeah, I basically compared them to <laughs> Sayuki. <laughs> but 
But it's it's not an anime. It's a Wutaiya legend. It's a Wutaiya legend. legend. <laughs> yup, it's a Wutaiya legend. I compared it to Ginsumad and Saiyuki. Oh my god. Okay, you can read this part. I'm not gonna hurt. I'm not gonna hurt myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> she was suddenly reminded of a certain legend of four women. The protagonist was a high priestess who had the powers to change the world. A, Tifa. a second was a monkey-like or even cat-like, which one? It's one of the two. A guardian no, with unspeakable even... hidden strength. That was Yuffie. A third <laughs> was a loyal, passive, yet stylish lone wolf type. Elena. And the fourth <laughs> was an idealist analyst who shared her intelligence with the group to help them on their journey to the West. They all had tragic pasts, but were bound together by a red, red string, string of fate. fate. <laughs> 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 they couldn't sever those bonds, even if they wanted to. And that's how Jessie currently felt about their little group. I did say she was a nerd, right? Like, she's just a nerd who's making anime references. And I'm totally not projecting or adding in my own... Um... No, it's totally something Jessie would think about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're tired legends. She's, a, she's all about those we're tired legends. Yeah. <laughs> in, in animated form, especially. You know, I was watching this loot tie and le- legend the other day. <laughs> yeah. That's What's a... your favorite loot tie? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she learned how to speak with me. Uh, <laughs> with so she doesn't have to subtitles anymore. <laughs> she just starts speaking to, Je- to, to Yuffie and Wu Tai. Oh my god. <laughs> Wu Tanese. She's taking Wu Tai lessons. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wu Tai and Connie. Wu Tai and Connie! Wadi Connie! <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, this just explains it. Uh, you want me to keep going? No, but you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Should I keep going? Yes. If she were to relate those characters to their current situation, she'd think Tifa were the leader, the high priestess character who ch- could change the world. Tifa had the strength and optimism, yet proper God, leading wait, skills. It's like focused. six paragraphs. <laughs> 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 Jesse felt like anyone would like teach her. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I went on forever about this. Steve was a gun wielding priest, Yuffie's son Wukong, Elena was a murderous loner, and Jesse was a kind wearing glasses wearing friend. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Basically. Pretty much. That's the summary of the next four paragraphs. Let's skip it. No, <laughs> sure. no, no, don't skip it. Okay. Hi, Yuma, 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 and Mitori. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Dolan. Hello. How are you? Um, Jesse felt like anyone would heed to her beck and call, and Tifa would be a reliable pillar for them. After all, she is a Taurus. She was a Taurus. No. <laughs> she, they, is that what a Taurus were... does? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I must have looked it up. I was. I was like. I don't know. Uh huh. I don't know what Tauruses are like. <laughs> I don't either. Yuffie would obviously be the monkey, a deceptive monkey with pure motives, like when she wanted to restore honor to Wu Tai. But she would do any means to achieve her goal. Once pushed over the edge, she would unleash powers that no one would truly know of. But Jesse believed Yuffie would be the happy glue that kept him from getting too serious and absorbed. Fair. Elena would be the lone. <laughs> Loyal lone wolf. The blonde seemed to prefer to follow rather than lead, yet she would still be alone in a crowd, so to speak. She was utterly loyal to Tifa, and it didn't make sense since Tifa said they were in soldier together, and they were involved, so... Anyways! Anyways! <laughs> uh. <laughs> that would make <clears throat> Jessie the analyst. She thought about it for a moment, then agreed. She was taking care of most of the in- intelligence portion, and she was wasn't quite as capable as the others in the physical field, but that was just her being modest. <laughs> she could probably throw a punch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. They all also have these tragic, yet partially secret pasts, and Jesse honestly felt that they were bound together by fate, and together they'd be able to accomplish this mission. All right, guys, I'll cook something up, then we'll plan for the mission, Tifa said, standing from her spot and dusting herself off. Smiling at Jessie as she walked past, as if she had a smug look on her face. <laughs> that was a long <laughs> sentence that didn't need to be that long. As if, but it really wasn't. But it, but it kind of is. is. <laughs> I'm a Taurus and I can confirm she's got that Taurus energy. Perfect. 
It was almost like she knew what Jesse was thinking. Hey, Daigo, don't eat that. Oh, Daigo! No, no. No. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I got it. Don't yeah, worry. I got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on. I'm just moving back to my seat. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> He got his he got his paws on a pair of jeans and no. he was starting to nom nom on the jeans. Oh but it's okay, he didn't rip anything. It's <laughs> we're fine. good, we're good. <clears throat> uh wait, Tifa, Yuffie said, scrambling to her feet to catch up with the woman. I'll help. Elena laughed at the two of them, still remaining outside of the jet. <laughs> Alright, call me when it's done. And Jesse stayed silent, merely enjoying the atmosphere they produced, despite the circumstances that caused them. What question was running through her mind now? How long will days like this last for? Ooh, Ooh. Another death flash. Yep. Oh no. You know she's gonna go down soon. No! Ah. Uh, author's note. Yeah, I think this chapter, wait, did I, is there anything, anything to? Oh my God. Wait. Uh, no, okay, I need okay, to okay. not read a part of that. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, I think this chapter was a little different from the others. Way more sections because I kept switching scenes between the four of them. And I wanted to see what it would be like with background music throughout the whole chapter. Uh -huh. Oh, I can turn this off now. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> this is your author's note theme, theme song. Yeah. Um, I know there wasn't much plot progress because I meant for this to be more of a character development chapter. Also, Jesse and, Jesse and Yuffie kind of remind me of Tomo and Yomi from Azumanga Dayo around section 6 and 7, mm. apparently. <laughs> it kind of dragged out a bit, didn't it? A D colon. <laughs> I was a little sad when I wrote most of this chapter. I had a few issues in my life. Aw. Oh, and this poor, is more of a pick-me-up. Poor little Yuma. No, oh. you like, she's just writing her feelings out. No wonder it's, there's a lot of projecting. There's so much projected. <laughs> to be honest, it worked. But I don't need want to need to have to get issues every time I want to finish a chapter. Oh my god. Aww. It's your motivation to write is issues. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you're wondering about the legend thing, I kind of got the idea from Gensumad and Sayuki, mm. which is actually taken from a different legend of a group of four guys going to the West with the high priest as their leader. It's the anime I'm currently re-watching. At the <laughs> that anime is actually similar to this fanfic in some ways, I guess. At least that's how I like I mean, to think of it. You wrote a whole six paragraph a whole essay about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also figured I should stop asking people to review because most people don't uh, listen. Uh, oh, poor little you. Oh, know. little you. So I'm strong enough to admit that this is pretty boring, but we'll get to the exciting stuff soon. Very soon. <gasps> oh. Oh, and if you were wondering, I looked up Antifa's a Taurus, Yuffie's a Scorpio. And I look for personality traits on this website. Oh. And then I'm not going to read the rest of that. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's a good time to switch back to just chatting. Yay. Yay. That was fun. Yay. Oh, my gosh. I haven't laughed that hard oh my, in so long. It was so funny. So funny. I can't. Don't save. I don't want to... I want to keep that masterpiece we want in to 2007. It. Pure form. <laughs> I think that the the relationship. So you remember in chapter eight, I was all like, "Oh yeah, I got a girlfriend." I think that at that point in chapter nine uh -huh. is like we were going through a breakup. Oh. <laughs> I, it was like around the time that I found out that she cheated on me. Oh, yeah. No. So young Yuma was young Yuma heartbroken at the Pouring time. Pouring your angsty thoughts into this. So angsty. <laughs> so angsty. Mm. Man, that was phenomenal. Thanks for sharing your cringe with us. Yay, I'm glad. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It was fun. I enjoyed I, it. I had fun. I'm, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that you're reading this with me because I feel like reading it by myself would have been pretty hard. Probably. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, yes. Um, what else? I don't know. We were going to play It Takes Two on... Um, Twitch? On Twitch. It's pretty late now. Though. It is pretty late now. It's like around the normal time when it would probably end anyway. Yeah, I think so. I mean, but maybe <laughs> just, like just, just one of these weekends. Oh, what yeah. Do do? We could probably play it this weekend. I'm supposed to be playing Final Fantasy 7 tomorrow. Ah, okay. Mm. 
you can figure it out. <laughs> Maybe do it, it do a surprise stream like all the other Take Two streams. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, so I should be releasing a schedule tomorrow for the next week. Same. Yeah, <laughs> and then yeah. So Do that. we talk about the other thing in two weeks? <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> uh, I won't. There will be some days in about a week and a half ish where I won't be streaming, and neither we will, won't be streaming. We won't be streaming because we'll be going on a little. We're going on. Vacation! Vacation! <laughs> yeah! yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to streaming vacation. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to... I think we could say... Like, we're not going to say where we're going. So, yeah, we're going to go on a road trip. Yay! Yeah! Yeah, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am too. After we went... Um, after we went snowboarding, yeah, we, we did say that. Yeah, okay, yeah, after yeah, we went yeah. snowboarding, <laughs> I feel like it's changed our words so carefully. Yeah, sometimes. yeah. After we went snowboarding, I I was like, oh, we need to do this again because it was so fun just driving with you. For snowboarding. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad you had fun still. It was. It was great. Yeah, we're gonna go on a road trip. We're gonna highway blossoms it, <gasps> but not really because we we're not going to the highway blossoms places. No, I would love to that would be the great. Highway blossoms, yeah, we'll talk about where we go. After we've gone, that because then people won't be able to try to sure, go there yeah. too. <laughs> uh, uh, I took a shot every time smile, smirk, or grin was mentioned. So oh I'm communicating God. with the spirit world. <laughs> Sorry, daddy, no, don't visit the spirit world. Tomorrow on YouTube, yes, tomorrow on YouTube. Honeymoon night, honeymoon no. no. <laughs> on a road trip, I called it. You did. Uh, oh man, I love y'all. Y'all really heroes. You pull me out of slumps and give me a lot of joy. I'm so glad Aww. that we pull, we give you joy. I mean, so streaming sweet. makes me happy. So <laughs> I'm. I, this is my therapy. So yay, I love it. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you, Nitori was with you. I'm like literally right next to. She's like <laughs> yeah, she's like right here. I can. I'm, I, I'm here. I'm touching. Um, I don't know how to like prove it. You know? Yeah, like I'm. I, I remember last time we had this issue too. Yeah. Like um, I can. Your, you, I can readjust your face. Like if we had <laughs> webcam, you could see her readjust my face, re, 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 redirect my redirect face. Redirect. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, I. Well, I mean, I feel like if we tried to like whisper into the same microphone, it doesn't change anything. I don't think it would work like that. Yeah. I don't know how. The only other thing I can imagine is someone controlling both at the same time. Yeah, That's which is kind of what we did, but I don't like that because, nah, like... Because we both have to, like, you have to use my avatar. Mm -hmm. use, it's weird, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take control of my body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, baby. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. She handed me a tissue. You're right. She did hand me a tissue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't try to prove it. We believe it. Yay. I'm glad you believe us. Mm, believe it. <laughs> that mm -hmm. Um... Uh, yeah, so I mean, that's what we're gonna be doing um, in a little, in a, a, a weekish. And so tomorrow I'm getting my car fixed. Well, there's nothing wrong with my car. I'm just getting new tires because the getting old tires ready. are pretty like uh, bad. Yeah, so we're getting mm -hmm. the car ready. My car, not her car. Um, <laughs> for the for the road trip. <laughs> yeah, for the road oh trip. We got to like the road trip. It's be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's gonna happen early in the morning, which means that oh my gosh. I I said I'd start the Fall Fantasy Seven stream like at twelve, but we'll see how long it takes for my uh, car to get fixed. Right. Yeah. Daigo does chew on various things from time to time. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. And Nitori sometimes stops him. And also Nitori, oh my god, uh, it's sh when. We both entered my apartment at one point. Daigo was so excited oh, to yeah. see just her. I was so mad. I was <laughs> like, wait, you don't even, you didn't even look at me. <laughs> He's uh, just a little bit excited. Is this H stream? No, at this moment it is not H. Mm -mm. I don't think has it, it ever been? I don't think it has been. There was, a, so. there was a shower scene, but not, it was like a junk trunk and... Oh, double yeah. jugs. <laughs> double jugs. <laughs> double the jugs worst it's gotten is like on uh, first snow. Oh yeah. But, oh no, actually, uh, Heart of the Woods, right? 
Oh yeah, in yeah. part of the woods where they had nothing on but a blanket. Yeah, that was also, that was that was also kind of eaten by. But there hasn't been any like naughty bits on this stream. Yeah, and pretty. not that I think you could show that on YouTube. You so, can't. Yeah. No, there, it wouldn't be an H stream. Right. Exactly. So yeah, the once on my dogs chewed on fifty bucks. Said you cable. <laughs> cable on a fifty dollar cable. <gasps> Aww. What? That sucks. Um, but yeah, I think that this is a good place to end. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Um, I don't think we'll raid anyone. I, I, I would like YouTube. to raid someone, yeah, but it's YouTube. Yeah, but YouTube is dumb. Yeah, I don't know. Can we Trovo raid someone? Is there is anyone I watching I think there are raids of Trovo, but I don't know if it's worth it. Um, <laughs> one <year. laughs> Trovo bots like, look like you've been live for a while. <laughs> Tell your followers you're live now. What the hey. heck? Oh, you can send a midstream notification. What? Oh, you may resend it by restarting a stream in four hours? What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, okay. I have no idea. What that I don't means. know. Oh man, I dented my car and got paint on it, pulling it out of the garage. I haven't told my dad yet. I need to cut a tennis ball in half and use it like a suction cup and fix it. Oh, oh no! Oh wow, a tennis ball. Interesting. I never thought about using that. I heard people take like plungers. Oh, <laughs> plungers? Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Twas a good stream. Lots of laughs and emotion. Yeah. Oh, that one part where you read that was like. Oh, part with the flashback. Yeah, that was a fun read. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's that's it then. I don't really have an ending screen because we don't have credits for this stream. But thank you all for coming. Oh yay! That was fun. Um, so tomorrow, wait, we do have credits. No, thanks everyone for the stream. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna wrap up there anything else yeah. you want to say uh not really thanks for having me here like always mm -hmm. and thank all of you guys for coming to the stream and watching mm -mm -mm. all right well i'm going to end the stream then now in five four <laughs> three 